Mm. That was it. <laughs> it says uh, in the morning paper, Terry. Yeah. You, you familiar with the morning paper? Yes. Um, I think so. Yes. There's two of them, this, right? Yeah, this one's called the Seattle Times. Oh, yeah, yeah. It says that the uh, Steelers, the Pittsburgh Steelers, that would be, Terry? That yeah. would be the... Uh, the fraudulent Super Bowl champions? Sure not. Fraudulent Super Bowl yeah, champions. Yeah, they're scheduled yeah. to... Uh, Golden black or whatever yellow. They're black. scheduled to host the opening game of the NFL, as traditionally the Super Bowl <laughs> champion does. They're scheduled to open it next season, September 7th. I believe that's a Thursday night football game at home. Really? Again? Yeah. I don't think there's an opponent yet. Mm. But because they're supposed to Super Bowl champions... Uh-huh. So they get Super to pick whoever? They don't get to pick. I believe me, if they pick... Uh, uh, Cleveland Browns, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they'll pick the Seahawks, I'm sure. Well, they won't take the Seahawks, that's yeah. for sure. But uh, that's the tradition. That's another thing that we miss out on because we were given the shaft. Uh-oh. Steven seems to like it more than anyone. Anyhow. He likes the shaft. Uh, yeah, I, don't know. The shaft isn't good. I don't know if you're aware, but sometime yesterday Bad during shaft. the morning hours, uh, a billboard that uh, I authorized and I signed off on and I constructed pretty much by hand, not really that part, uh, it went, up on, so labor. <laughs> went up on Denny Way regarding the situation. Ah. Uh. And uh, maybe uh, your husband will drive by it when he's... Uh, Riding the motorcycle. Uh, I already got the call. Sh- making sure justice is maintained. Oh, you already got the call? I already got the call he, yesterday. He saw it. Did he like it? Did he, he, he have any comment? He was cracking or no? up. Really? Yes. Okay. He, he thought it was very good. Oh, well. He, he called me because it's across from the little radio shop. Mm-hmm. And he calls me and he goes, uh, you didn't tell me about the sign. I go, oh, well, I thought I did. And he, I go, so how does it look? Well, you know, because I haven't seen it. I yes. just saw the little mock. Yeah. I kept, it, I kept it a little hush-hush, Terry, because right. I wasn't sure I would be able to find a spot for it that I liked downtown, <laughs> that it would be able to go up so quickly. Well, apparently it's Every, working. Everything seemed to fall into place. Everyone seemed to want me to, to put this billboard up. And, uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, you have to go check out for yourself. It's somewhere <laughs> on Denny Way. It's somewhere, uh, somewhere up past uh, on Denny Way. Yeah. <laughs> no, but he, but he, yeah, you said it looked really good. Oh, good. Wow. I'll have to drive and by later today. cracking up. Make sure it meets my expectations because I can't just sit around and take it. That's just not me. It's not my personality. No. Mm-hmm. Never going to be. Yeah. Anyhow. We'll let we it have go the... until next season, if that. Right. <laughs> What's that, Steven? To have the Monday Night Football theme blasting from it like when you drive by. Wow. No, that would have cool. been cool. Every time someone honks their horn, you hear. <laughs> <laughs> there was a way, Steven. If there was a way. How about, I'll tell you what, you get up there with your boombox. <laughs> and every time somebody drives by and waves at it or gives a honk of the horn, you just start blaring. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'd be we'll great. Each ta- we'll each take a shift. What do you say? I might, <laughs> my shift is canceled. Yeah. But, yeah, we should broadcast live until the Seahawks win the Super Bowl. That's right. So, like, give us the Super Bowl. <laughs> right. Why? We want our rings, damn it. Come on, Steven. You came up with a great idea. Why don't you get up there later today and wave as people drive by and blare the uh, the old theme song there? <laughs> you want a shift? Sounds good. Let her know. Oh. All right. So. Well, I don't know if we, I mean, if we could work out the big boom box or you something like that. You know what? I don't need your hollow ideas then. Wow. It just can't be fulfilled. <laughs> big boom box. <laughs> All right. Well, if little cards in the card shop, you know, for Valentine's Day, you can open up and have a, sing a little tune. Yeah, yeah. Than a should billboard. be able to, yeah. Damn well, it. we should have speakers from the billboard? Yes. Mm. Man, you should have told me that last week. I mean, week. we're a radio station, aren't we, right? Well, when I was playing this last week, you should have came up with this. Now the billboard's up. Yes, Stephen. We do things top secret. You know, we don't know about them. And I scheduled for it to be up for two weeks. Two weeks. Two All weeks. Right. Two. Whoa. Yes. Now, if, if you had you have done it pop secret, Stephen would have known it. Anyone would have asked for extra butter. Way. As long as it's got extra golden <laughs> topping, yes. <laughs> Stephen, it's a great idea. Now, how about following through? How about uh, if we can't well, make get, some calls? If we can't get you, if we can't get you atop the billboard, waving to people as they drive by, how about this guy? I'm stealing a bitch. I'm buttering your biscuits. At least your thyroid has a butter, no biscuits lately, bitch. Oh, okay. Jeez, take a <laughs> And the can kiss my ass. And all Steelers fans out there listening to the T Man Show, do me a favor. Switch over to K Nally, bitch. Mm-hmm. All right, anyhow. Oh. Uh, 
I'm so, not appreciative of all the Steeler fans out there that think they got whatever they got to take down. Yes, now, now, John, John, did here, he, I don't it's think. Valentine's oh, Day. Yes, it is. So for the rest I, I have a hard on for the uh, for the occasion. <laughs> I got a hearty on it. Oh jeez. Now, uh, uh, what's your name again, John? John. Did you hear what I just said, by the way? Are you going to go downtown and check out the billboard that I put up? I mean, I took time. There was expense, Terry. There mm-hmm. was a lot of thought process. Not really. Going yeah, into well, this. Denny, Denny Way runs from Western and Elliott all the way up to the Broadway area. Yeah, thanks for the reminder. Wow. From mm-hmm. Denny Way to East Denny a- Way. It runs. I'm sure you're more familiar with the Broadway area. Yeah. <laughs> and Fruit Loop. <laughs> right. Okay, I'm going to get in my uh, sled. I'm going to slide right out there, baby. Now, do that. All right, let us know when you're there what you think of it, okay? Okay, I'll make it happen, T-Man. Okay, call Mom, get the car fired up, go down there, and do a live... No, I'm going to call my psychic, uh, Pacey Dave. All right, we'll do a live... I will oh, your you're a psychic now, Pacey. <laughs> John, John, I would like you to do a live report live from the billboard this morning, okay? Well... Give me details off the air, and I'll be right there. Okay, hang on. Oh, hang on. It's on Denny Way. How hard is it to find? Denny Way, he just said it runs up and down. Right. It's somewhere up or down. Pace, to give him some details. Whatever right. they might be. Think, it's it's more up than when down. When he's getting picked up. It's what? I it's, think the details he wants is when he's getting picked up. Oh, jeez. Oh, well, well, tell him to wake up Mamala. We'll see what he wants. John, John. Okay. Hey, it's on Denny there, man. <laughs> good luck. It's on yeah, Denny. It's not that big, again. man. It's like... It's tell him it's more... Uh, it's not... On Broadway, by any means, no. but it's, it's like Elephant Car Wash area. It's, it's a little no, it's bit past. It's like a block past Elephant Car Wash. I okay, think. it's it's closer to so Elephant Car Wash uh, it, by ninety nine there. But it's up towards the Broadway area from Elephant. But towards the Broadway. It's, you know area what, you know what it's by? I'll tell you what it's exactly by. The it's, Best Western. It's, or? No, no, it's it's right outside of the thirteen coins. Is that what it's called? Oh, 15, oh yeah, yeah, fifteen yeah, yeah. coins. How many coins they have 13. now? Thirteen. Yeah, yeah. right outside the thirteen. Seattle Times. Yes. Right. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Tell him to go get some breakfast and report live from the billboard. All right. We, we need you to get over to 13, 13 coins, coins, have some breakfast, and yeah. uh, report live from the billboard. Tell him breakfast is on me. Ooh. Oh, breakfast oh, is on oh, me. Okay. Let's all go then to 13 he coins. He has got you taken care of at 13 coins. With a cap of $25. You can get chicken parm this time of day, too. It's great. Oh, I know. Tell him he's got a $25 cap. So he doesn't buy it for everyone in the whole place. All right. You, so, sounds like as long as Gay's not there, he's happy. Can you, can you tell him that? Oh, yeah. have the, have the Portman one go did down you, there. Did you tell him that yet? There, there will be a twenty-five dollar cap on the meal, John. John, just so you know. Yep, that'll get you a lot of food there. That's for enough one for person. him That's and great. Mamala. Yes. That's enough for you and Mamala. If he goes with Mamala, thirty dollar cap. <laughs> but we have to hear from Mamala. Yes, I want to, to verify that Mamala is there. That's right. Uh huh. All right. That's a oh, good that. spot. People sit there a long time. Oh, they do it at 13 coins? <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I mean, uh, on Denny, on uh, traffic trying to get to I-90. Oh, well, that's what I was thinking. Or I-5. Or if I didn't get the right spot, Stephen, I wouldn't put it up. No, I know. That's a good spot. I'm not going to just put it uh, somewhere. Willy-nilly out there. No, no willy-nilly. I'm not a willy-nilly <laughs> kind of guy. No. The team. This is the... Look who we found in the Big Apple before the blizzard. Oh. Things are looking more and more serious between Halle Berry and her new man, model Gabriel Aubrey. Right. We spotted them holding hands and shopping in Manhattan. Now holding hands. That's getting serious, oh. Terry. Oh, that's serious. That slut, Halle Berry, is holding hands. How dare she? Should they make them work for it at all? No. Mm. They were spotted shopping in NYC before the 26-inch blizzard. Oh, I know. Jeez. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Was that Oreo or Heath? I was going to ask if Stephen had a 26-inch bl- blizzard last night. Oh. It's good stuff. You like the Heath Bunch cr- Crunch? Huh? I'm, a, Bunch? I'm a Heath Be- blizzard guy. Oh, yeah. yes. Mm-hmm. Well, it's quite the delicacy. No Snickers for you? Yes. No. Mm-hmm. I go M&M. Do you? Just uh, oh. in case anyone's wondering. It's oh. not a flavor. Well, depends how you drink it. <laughs> Anyhow. Uh, what, what's going on? What's up with you? Terry, I'll tell you one thing that uh, you can count on. What's that? John, John, and, well, his mom broke her foot is the word oh, he gave Pasty Dave. Heck? I don't he even just want to. on it. I don't want to <laughs> know. I guess it was so deep up John John's ass that it kind of just broke off. It broke off? off? Right. Uh, but his brother. He's got a brother? The word is his brother is going to drive him to the billboard, Terry, and he's going to report live. From the billboard, greeting uh, people, kissing babies, uh, in only the Valentine's way you can. Wow. And uh, we'll get our first glimpse, at least through the radio, <coughs> from the eyes and ears of a drunken man. Wow, <laughs> I can't wait. 
John John will be doing the reporting. See, here's an example of a dysfunctional family member, Terry, that can do something for the show. Yes. As opposed to the poorly redhead who thinks he's doing us a favor when he calls us naked from his bed. Oh, yeah. I get it now. Right, I gotcha. Yes. Gotcha. It's always nice to be able to have a dysfunctional family member that can actually do something who for the show. get up and get out? Get up, get out, do some live reporting on the street. Wow. A lot more valuable to us. Well, mm-hmm. but we hear about from the portly redhead how he, he has done and, and always does do things for us. Well, he, as I said, Terry, thinks he's doing us a major favor when he's calling us in a grotesque fashion <laughs> from his bed in a n- naked state. Wow. Huh. Mm-hmm. I wonder if he's going to have some love today. You see the difference there, Terry? Yeah, I do. Absolutely. A person that can do something for us. Right. Okay. Active. And a person who, who, who can oh, do something. Oh, can't. Yeah. You see the difference there? There's can. There's can. Can. And there's can't. Can. 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 Yes. Can. Mm-hmm. John John would probably do the can can. So maybe. Wow. I should just get John John's stomach stapling surgery, Terry. Oh, absolutely. Yes. He deserves it. I mean, here he is just racing out right now on no notice. Right. Waking up his entire family. Oh, I'm sorry to wake you up. You have a broken foot. I forgot. Okay. uh, Brother. Yeah. He's like... Coming up with a brother we didn't even know he had. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> what shocks me. To he's get got it a done. brother. Yes, which yeah. probably means he's going to take a cab and then run out on him. But <laughs> and that'll be his brother. But still, there's a can yes. and a can't. Yes, can. Yes. Even if he never makes it, I mean, at least he's trying. We got, he can. we got so used to the can't, oh. we forgot about the can side. Wow. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Okay. Can, can. Mm-hmm. Easy. Oh, it's his brother named Bob Bob. Oh, John, John I'm not Bob. sure of John John's brother's name, but Bob Bob is a safe guess. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh! Mm. You know, though, it, when you when you talk about can and can't type things, uh, as far as the portly redhead, right? You know, with this website of his, and he was so successful and, and, mm-hmm, and you mm-hmm. know, getting whatever the difference was. Yes. Why does he even need your money anymore at all? Well, because I mean, because Jeez, I mean, he's doing terrible. such a fine <laughs> job yeah, that's getting. A silly question. Well, uh, the money on his own that the money is now going to be uh, given to John. John, just oh. do, do with it as you please. Oh, okay. I, I, <laughs> to book a trip. <laughs> yes, <laughs> enjoy. Let's buy him a car mm. <laughs> so he can get to places well, when we'll we see. need him. To. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But uh, let's just hear the live reporting from the billboard to see uh, how everything's shaping up out there. Because uh-huh. uh, you said your husband saw it, but I haven't. Yeah, it right. just went up yesterday, Terry. And I hadn't tell, told anyone about it because I wasn't even sure that I was going to be satisfied with the location mm-hmm. and the and the specs or whatever the case may be. Yeah, but all now, the particulars. But it is there now. It is. Less than 24 hours. And uh, it's just a, a message to the world that I'm not taking this fraudulent win by the Pittsburgh Steelers lightly. Right. I know. Lay it down on it. I mean, some people believe that the Steelers actually beat the Seahawks. I can sit them down if they actually wanted to spend the time with me and explain to them how they're wrong. Mm. How they're wrong and how the referees took the game away from the Seahawks. Now, no one likes to think that the referees have that kind of power. They do. Right. And this is a perfect example of it. Mm-hmm. Should put little flyers at the billboard so people can pull and read it. And obviously, I'm not over it. So, Steve wants to make it like a college <laughs> bulletin board where you, you take the, you know, the phone numbers at the right, bottom of every... Right. Looking for a roommate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just so you know. Well, maybe next time you can uh, assist in... The creative meetings that came up with this unbelievable billboard, Stephen. Yes, because the meetings were intense. They oh, were I'm long. sure they were. And they were drastic. All day. Huh? That's correct. <laughs> now, what else is going on in the world? Well, you want to, should, should I open the phone lines? Uh, apparently, uh, people are up, they're out and yeah, about. And I'm sure quite a number of people have probably seen it mm-hmm. who are driving by. Maybe there are people that are actually driving by it this morning. As I know it's it's still it's still dark outside, so maybe those people that actually notice it right now are going to be few and far between. But you never know, Terry. That's right. You never know. Mm-hmm. And uh, call me the sorest of losers. Hey, guilty as charged. I don't care whatever you want to say. <laughs> but uh, yes, it's been over a week, and I should be over it. But I'm not. I'm not going to. Right. And I refuse. If I if I ever start to get over it, Terry, you slap me. I will. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Harder than you usually do. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I promise. Wow. Now, what else is going on, Terry? Well, according to the National Enquirer, of right. course, looks like Jennifer Aniston may be spending today, Valentine's Day, all by her little lonesome. Mm. Oh, I forgot Valentine's Day is today. That's, yes. the day of, that's the day of love, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. Heart, sugar, candy, chocolate, mm. all that stuff. Sugar. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, this is sugar. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> so you can go to my neighbor. Hey, can I have a cup of sugar? <laughs> yeah. It's Valentine's 
Valentine's Day. <laughs> for all the sweet things I'm about to make for uh, my honey, for my wife. Uh-huh. There you go. And my son. You can make, make Jaden some cookies. So today's a big gift exchange day, I guess. Yeah. Right. It's supposed really? to be. Well, <laughs> so. really. I'll tell you this. I'll be honest with you. Uh, I gave my wife a Valentine's Day gift on, on Saturday. Oh, wow. Oh. When we went out, because we went out for like a little a night. and uh, <laughs> For a little mm, night. Uh, right. And tomorrow is my third wedding anniversary. Right. Now ask me what I'm getting her for our, th- our third wedding what anniversary. What are you getting her for a third? Nothing! Oh. <laughs> you got a gift for Valentine's Day. Well, I, I would... Hold up! And, it's, and so I'm, you a, do I'm dual... a double dipping kind of guy. Double wow! Dipping. That's right. Oh, you do dual That's, gifting? Why do you think I chose February 15th as the wedding day? That sucks. So she, it's the perfect <laughs> double dipping opportunity. She and you gave it to her put... on Saturday, so yes. she gets nothing. Yes. Nothing today and nothing for the universe. Well, she wow. gets me today. Wow. Whoa. Oh, she gets that beautiful boy. She gets, and she gets me tomorrow. That's a big heart of love right there. That's the cup of your sugar <laughs> of them all. Yeah, huh? sweet, sweet. Right. I think if you do something on the weekend, they kind of expect something on the actual you day, too. You give them something on now the here I am well, not who, a card who knows I don't know uh, no here I am nice red rose from Safeway or something <laughs> oh that sounds lovely here I am now you just ruined my gift to you Steve. <laughs> here I am uh-huh. trumpeting the praises of John John and his efforts to go out there and report live from the billboard and he's oh, still amazing. on the hotline probably still at home yeah. so I'm heading out with right. a minute you what we missed most of that what was that I said I'm heading out within approximately three and a half minutes as my wheels are heading over here to pick me up Mm -hmm. and shoot me down your way into Seattle, Washington. And look for me. Everybody that's standing or driving or walking or on a scooter is there in Seattle. Just wave your hands in the air. Wave them like you. F don't care. Mm -hmm. You'll see me standing out by that team ass billboard. Okay, that sounds like quite the greeting. Let me tell you. I know we were at a club for a minute. People I will be, check in with you shortly right here on the T-Man Show. Sounds good. People will be flocking to that billboard now, too. Oh, I know. Oh, like crazy. Talk about a double sight to behold. Double wow. Sight. Not only the brand new billboard <laughs> up and staring you in the face, but John John having a little toast to it underneath. Right, waving his, your hands like you just don't effing care. Right. You're at a club. Ooh, ooh. Uh, Carl. <laughs> Carl. Yes. Yeah, yes, Carl. <laughs> The billboard is a nice location. Yes, you're happy with it? It looks nice? Well, Very be, nice. I'll be who happy. Is, who, is, who is the opposing, or who's the uh, disguised referee? Uh, that's, I I imagine it's... Whomever you want it to yes. be, I guess. It's a reason he's disguised. Mm-hmm. I think it's the ref from the game. I don't know. Bob Wagoner. Mm-hmm. Look he's, got, he's got on some really nice dark shades I mean, you're well. standing underneath it. You probably know better than I do. We just... <laughs> You just threw it up there. You yes. said, okay, that looks good. The slogan. John, John John may want to just stay home because these words are too small for him to read. So you can't read it is what you're saying? No, no. Uh, you can see it blocks away. But Oh, good. For John John because uh, he he's read. drunk. And uh, yeah, and, 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 and he's hooked on well. phonics, yes. Right. All right, well, Carl, so is this a positive uh, review or no? Very, very positive. Very positive, okay. Oh, good. good deal. Even, even though it's a, a week and some odd days... Is it? Are you glad that I did it or no? Very much. Sh- so. Should I, I just get I... over it? Are you going to tell me, team man, just get over it already? <laughs> Why don't you take a picture of it and send it to the NFL? Because I'm ready to say <laughs> no. I'm not ready to get over it. Hey, T. Yes. I think it would have been really uh, necessary for one of these billboards to go up over in the Pittsburgh area as well. Man, that's a great idea. Oh, gee, two great ideas mm. this morning. Well, maybe if it's a big hit in Seattle, <laughs> you'll you'll convince me to put it up in Pittsburgh. How about that, Carl? Yes. Does that sound good? Maybe Absolutely. if there's a big party, if there's a big Valentine's Day party <laughs> with 13 oh. coins dancing up and down. <laughs> yeah. If there's a big party underneath the billboard today, maybe you'll convince me to uh, throw that billboard right up there in Pittsburgh. Oh, wow, goodness. that idea was hot, Carl. Yes. <laughs> hot, Carl. That. Nice. Yes. Was a rather <laughs> steamy idea. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Or now I'm not gonna his name Carl. I know. Huh? <laughs> I'm not gonna reveal what the slogan says on that billboard, Terry, because oh. frankly, it's not suitable for air. Oh, <laughs> I understand suitable. that. Suitable. It's not suitable for air. <laughs> That's right. So you'll have to go on anyway and find out for yourself. Yes. This obviously expresses the way I feel. <clears throat> mm-hmm. And the Seahawks were were contacted about this billboard 
by the billboard company, Terry, mm -hmm. to ask how they feel about it. And you know what they said? What? They said, don't do it. Really? They said, we want to get over it by now. <laughs> <We wanna get laughs> and you know over. what I said to that? I said, F you! <laughs> never get over it! <laughs> never forgive, never forget! Wow. Wow. Some people say never forget, but always forgive. I say never forgive, never forget. <laughs> <laughs> Keep things smoldering deep inside. Exactly. That's the best way to live, Terry. <laughs> And uh, if they forget, though, maybe they won't have the drive that they need. So they should oh, keep remembering. And this Murder, billboard, and I, I mean, the plan is, the, the scheduling is to keep the billboard up for two weeks. You know what? what? I may keep it up for two years. Wow! <laughs> I haven't decided yet. Oh. The team Some new reasons for teens to think twice about kissing a lot of different people. Researchers found teens who intimately kiss many different people are almost quadruple the risk of getting meningitis. Yeah! Oh, that's hot, Terry. Oh, hey, baby, come kiss me so I can give you some meningitis. Oh, jeez. Well, I'll tell you this. This story may scare you, but I'll be the first to share my experiences with you as a 15, 16-year-old. I think I was 16. Mm-hmm. I got meningitis, Terry. Right. And I kissed nobody. Wow. Mm. How'd you get it? Then? No one would let me kiss them. What? <laughs> How'd you How get did it? I get it? I still to this day have no clue, but I have my suspects. <laughs> maybe they were blowing you kisses. Oh, and you didn't know it. Maybe, yes. They wanted me so bad. They couldn't tell me because right. they were afraid to be turned down. Sure. And so behind they... my back, they were blowing me meningitis kisses. Yes. Oh, they that's oh, hot. Oh, gotta Terry. have him. Oh. Maybe your mirror was cheating on you. <laughs> oh, that could be it. It's possible because I did spend a lot of time practicing not kissing the mirror, as I've told you now, Terry. Wow. She thought you was a dresser. Yes. <laughs> the dresser's a whore. Mm -hmm. All those drawers. Maybe my uh, my sister Allison was kissing the mirror without telling me, and uh, oh. she was kissing all the boys, so I got it from some guy that she was kissing in high school. Wow. Uh, that's the most likely suspect. Wow. <laughs> so don't, I mean, you can get meningitis, you can get meningitis. I mean, case Sarah, Sarah. Yeah. Case Sarah, Sarah. Some new reasons for teens to think twice about kissing a lot of different people. I say kiss away. That's what high school's all about. Well, the that's what they're doing, and, and they'll mm -hmm. listen to this and go, oh, that's nice. Hey, come over here and kiss me. T-Man survived meningitis, so can you. <laughs> Right. Researchers found teens who intimately kiss many different people are almost quadrupled their risk of getting meningitis. Oh. Meningitis is a severe bacterial infection of the bloodstream or lining of the brain. You tell me about Young it. children are also at risk, and doctors say immunization is the best defense. Yeah, they didn't have it back then. Anyhow. Oh, wow. They had, uh, it wasn't pretty, Terry. I had to spend like uh, four days, five days in the hospital. They had to give me a spinal tag. Ow. You know, you had spinal meningitis, right? I had uh, viral meningitis, yeah. Mm. Or a spinal. No, a spinal I meningitis. Know. If you had to have a spinal meningitis. tap, you probably had spinal I I don't know yeah. what the hell I had. I just know yeah, that's that not, uh, good. not good. They stuck a needle about yay long into my spine. Oh. And he goes, this is spinal tap. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Took out the fluid that was hunched over for like the rest of my life. Ooh. And, uh, oh, green and gooky? Huh? Was it green and gooky? What are we talking about now? The fluid. Oh. I, I didn't really take a look at the... The fluid they took out there, oh. but they saw the nurses were doing shots of it. So <laughs> I, 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 I don't remember. Wow. Well, I remember that wasn't pleasant, but yeah. I got it from kissing nobody. So oh. hey, at least get it the fun way. <laughs> I guess so. That's the moral of this story. Yeah. <laughs> That's what the kids at school are going. Ah, all right. Mm -hmm. But it has to be intimate kissing. They said, right? You can't just be a kiss on the cheek. I think it, you all know, but it's mouth to mouth somehow. Who the hell is kissing on the cheek these days? Oh, I, I don't. Kiss know. on the cheek's a waste of time. Oh, okay. So <laughs> mouth all the time. The mouth, tongue, make it happen. Okay. Don't fear germs. Welcome them. <laughs> It'll uh, set you up better for, for future days with all the introduction to all kinds of germs. Right. Help your immune system. That's right. It'll build up your immune system. Right. And while you're at it, why don't you go out and swim in some raw sewage? <laughs> <laughs> It'll build up your immune system. Or Lake Union. I hate these people. Oh, I don't want to touch that. It's dirty. Oh, I don't want to do, 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 do. Go after it. Build up your immune system. Lord. People are so scared of germs. I'm the biggest one, to be honest. <laughs> but I also know that I have to force myself at times. Build up your immune system. That's right. Okay. Uh, what else is going on, Terry? What else is happening right now? Well, this is something kind of interesting. According mm. to a couple sources, uh, Paul McCartney apparently got a little upset last uh, Wednesday uh, at the Grammys, and so he stormed out because he was beaten by U2 for uh, Best Album. Really? Yeah, a little, little mad. He was that mad. Mm-hmm, that he left. That's such a legendary group like U2. Mm-hmm. That he stormed out of the Grammys? Stormed out of the Grammys. Now, what a storm. What is that, uh, 
What does that imply? How 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 angry do you have to be to storm? Uh, pretty angry. Mm-hmm. I mean, does that like, mean Lauren Jackson escorted him out. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I mean to that leave is during like, the middle of the show. Is yeah, pretty bad. left that during is, the middle of the show. Any 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 off. any kind of leaving during the middle of the show. Any unexpected leaving would equi- be the equivalent to storming out. Yes. Huh. Yes, and in a huff, like you know. Well, if you think he was hopping mad, Terry, you should have seen his wife. Oh, jeez, <laughs> that's nice. That's great. <laughs> That's wow. <laughs> Most people won't get that. But anyway. Well, we did. Right. <laughs> That's all that matters. I really, really thought he had a leg up on the competition. Oh! Yes. Oh, oh. <laughs> she should uh, go out with Lance Armstrong. Wow. Well, uh, one leg, one ball. It seems equal to me. It seems fair. <laughs> Very good. Jeez. So, okay, big oh, deal. Oh, but he was evil. You'd think he's past uh, the moment of getting angry over anything uh, as far as achievements in the music industry. Yeah. I, th- I think he's made it. Yeah, I think yeah. so. I have nothing to prove here, Paul. Lord. God. Although that could be just some report is trumping up the situation. Maybe the guy is old with a bladder that uh, works maybe 25% of the time and it was kicking in and he had to go to the bathroom or he'd go home and... Change his underwear. And changes depends. I don't know. I it was getting late. Man, it would be a lot of reasons. Yeah, he's old. He could be getting late. He stayed for his award and that's that. Yeah, yeah get some, some money to count. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, stuff to do. Jeez. Man. Well. I mean, why wouldn't you leave if your award's over and you didn't win? <laughs> See ya. Time to pack it in. Yeah. yeah. Well, what, what I don't happen- need to see Kelly Clarkson sing. Have a nice day. What would happen if... Uh, did she perform at the Grammys? Yes, she did. She did. Oh, damn. I missed that. After crying. She... After crying, yeah. What would happen if he won the award and then went home after his award was over? Would that be storming out? Obviously not. No. Right. But it's time for bed for Paul McCartney. The yeah. man's 65 years old. 65. Wow. When you're 65, you may have a bedtime too, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> but until then... <laughs> It's a free-for-all. Now, I just remembered that uh, here I was talking about my anniversary and uh, Valentine's Day being in the same week. Terry, your anniversary and Valentine's Day in the same week, too. You were married days after I was. I know. We were on a plane to Hawaii. Oh, gee. So when is your... You got Valentine's Day today, right? Yes. You're right. And uh, what a coincidence. And your wedding anniversary is Uh, when? On the uh, Monday. You're going to get double gifts? Oh, yes. Oh! Oh, isn't that nice? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes. So you're, 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 you said your anniversary is when? Monday? Monday. Well, that's President's Day, It Jay. is. You could just have a sexual free-for-all all day. Wow. I'll try again. You could just have sex all day long to celebrate your anniversary, Terry. Yeah, try again. <laughs> try again. Oh, why not? Uh, two two babies. Mm-hmm. Two toddlers. Uh, they disrupt things. All right. Put Running them the, all over the place. Put them in the playpen 24 hours and have an <laughs> anniversary to remember. <laughs> Call in a sitter, you know. No, that's nice hotel. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. What kind of a sitter watches five kids? <laughs> <laughs> you need three sitters for that. Oh, jeez. Well, actually, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> actually, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, the older ones could handle it, but that's okay. The older ones and a sitter, and you're good for a sexual free-for-all mm-hmm. on your third mm-hmm. wedding anniversary, Terry. Mm-hmm. Man. Yeah. What a story. What a book this would make. 20-year drought between marriages, and now your third wedding anniversary. Man alive. Wow. wow. President, President Carter time. would want it that way on Monday. <laughs> really? President Carter. Jeez. Stupid. Is that what we celebrate? The life and times of President Carter? Well, it's the first one that came to my mind for some reason. Mm-hmm. He's probably the only living president we don't celebrate on Monday. He is a living president. Mm-hmm. That is correct. <laughs> Isn't President's Day to celebrate the, the passing of your more... Well, I guess I never thought it was all all of them, but I guess that probably makes more sense. No, the living ones don't get any credit. <laughs> because they're still State. alive. <laughs> okay, it's what Reagan would have wanted. Mm, I don't even know if you include Reagan in your in your thoughts. Wow. You include your Lincolns, your Washingtons, yes. your Adams. Oh, geez. Huh? Sure. Huh? I don't know. All right, get back to me on who do we see. Grant. We should. <laughs> That's you, all. You We're thought, done. You thought yeah. of one statement? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Chester A. Arthur. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Harding. What's that now? Isn't there a Harding? Okay. You can check and let us know. Anyway. <laughs> if there is, you may have to go home, David. <laughs> yeah. What else? What else? So you got Paul McCartney upset. Paul McCartney okay. upset. Okay. Some yes. tells me he'll get over it. Oh, and then uh, tonight, we may not want to miss Dr. Phil because... Uh, he's, he's got a primetime special? He does. Oh, Absolutely geez. He They does. love, the networks love Dr. Phil primetime special. Oh, it's I, called Love Smart. I guess it's good for America. Mm-hmm. And it's all about finding Paula Abdul a man. Mm-hmm. However, there is some... Paula Abdul, yeah, just not good looking enough. <laughs> just 
having too tough a time finding a man on her own. Right. Dr. Phil it's, to the rescue. That's right. Da, 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 da. <laughs> He's going to step in and break her down, make her cry, and, you know, find the right guy. However, yes. there is controversy with this because sources say that Paula, do, that Paula does have a man already. Right. That she's dating some model by the name of... Corey Clark. Dante Spencer. Oh. So... Was that his name? The guy from American Idol a few years ago? Yeah, yes. Corey, yeah Corey Clark. Yeah, how's he doing, by the way? Yeah. Mm, how's who? his new album? Who? Uh, <laughs> yeah. And of course... So how does Dante Spencer feel about this? I, I don't know. Dr. Paul Abdul is going on with Dr. Phil. I don't know. Her reps say that... She gave him a little hand herky-jerky backstage, then going on the cameras pretending like she has no boyfriend. <laughs> Well, well, her rep says, you know, they broke up a little bit ago, but of course then you have the sources close to Paula who say, or not so close to Paula, who say that that's not true. Do you They've think there's any possibility to what I said, Tay? Do you think Dr. Phil's getting a little hand herky jerky backstage from Paula? Oh, I don't know. That'd be part of the deal if I'm Dr. Phil. Really? I'm not doing this primetime special with Paula Abdul. Unless you get a little... I gotta have a minimum of a little hand drive. On but, TV. But what happens if Robin, his wife, is there? I mean, you can't get Yeah, she's got nothing to say. Oh. She's got oh. no power. Dr. She doesn't Phil's, care. Dr. Phil is too big time these days in middle America. And she's stepped through and through, man. Uh-huh. You can see that? Dr. Oh, yeah, Phil is the NASCAR of daytime TV. <laughs> oh, really? Wow. That's right. He's the NASCAR. He's the NASCAR of daytime weekday TV, Terry. Wow. I always thought it was Oprah, but geez. Well, <laughs> no, Oprah's not totally fully embraced yet in middle America, if you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. Terry, if you follow me closely. Mm-hmm. She's not, not the right complexion yet <laughs> right. for all of middle America. <laughs> but Dr. But Dr. Phil, Phil the board. come on with that little twang. Oh, he is it. He is adored. <laughs> okay, you're right, the NASCAR. Uh-huh. Oh, my goodness. Well, uh, we'll have to set the TVs for this. Oh yeah, absolutely. But I want I want Pasty to find this Dante Spencer guy because I want to see what he looks like. Oh jeez, something tells me Pasty already has it as his wallpaper. Oh <laughs> boy. Yeah. Power. I believe the final day for those who have dollar bills saved up. The last day you'll need them, at least for this go-around of the dollar bill game, is Friday. Is that oh, right? Is it Friday? Yeah. Is it Thursday? Friday? Friday. What's Friday. Friday. What's Friday. The okay. The and then the actual car giveaway evening is going to be what? Saturday. Is that Saturday night? Saturday. Man, Saturday. you got to clear out your Saturday night to try to win a car? Saturday, yeah. You better win that car if you're going to give up your Saturday night. What time Saturday One night? One to three. One to three p.m. Oh, it's, it's in the afternoon. In the afternoon. Oh, that's in, uh, nice. Lake City, correct? Hey, yep. winning, winning a car would be a good pre-funk for the evening, huh? I would say yes. Take that bad boy out. Woo-hoo. Of course, I imagine Eric Flowers will be doing a cheesy hosting job down there and uh, give away a car. Sure. Mm-hmm. That's what it's all about. Yes. That's right. He's good in those kind of settings. Mm-hmm. And, you know, Harris in the background with the dancing mall. It's just the perfect... <laughs> Extravaganza and everyone who's won a key so far, congratulations on getting that far. Woo! One to three o'clock on Saturday. That sounds yes. like perfect the perfect time frame to give away a car to. Oh, I, I yeah. thought maybe they would do it like even if it's eight to ten on a Saturday night to to have you sacrifice a Saturday night where where honestly most people are obviously gonna walk away without a car. Right. <laughs> One person and their friends are gonna be celebrating. As that key fires up, the scion, scion. Mm-hmm. Right, Somebody right. with one key, you know. Not yeah. 35 keys. Right. Well, I hope there aren't too many people with 35 keys. Yeah, let's hope That's not. That's what we've tried to maintain mm-hmm. as far as this portion of the uh, the day, Terry, is to True. make people only have a one-shot, one-shot-only time mm-hmm. at uh, winning that car. And then you just try to gang up against Debbie Barto and hope that uh, <laughs> your key will start and her 19 won't. Yeah. There All right. you go. She has a keychain yeah. like a janitor. Mm. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. Nope, this one. Nope, this one. Nope, this one. Yeah, yeah you, you got to wait an hour just for her to try all her keys. Yeah. Right. Debbie's out there right now. Oh, maybe I shouldn't call this morning. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's your warning. Well, what number should we go with this morning, Terry? Only four days left. Only four days left in the dollar bill game. And this one is uh, included in that four-day countdown. Is... Four? 
There's four days left. The okay. number, the number four. Sure. No, it's too easy. No, no. If you have a number four, uh, put your phones down. No. Oh. Uh, well, Terry, it's Valentine's Day. Yeah, oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. And in honor of Valentine's Day, let's go with the number sixty-nine uh, for oh. all oh. you lovers out there. Oh, absolutely. How about that? Okay. Does that sound good? Perfect. That's mm-hmm. romantic. Yeah, it is. I think that is romantic. Hmm. Oh, honey, can't or, wait. Or. <laughs> You know what the text paging code for I love you is, Terry. I know you've written it a couple of million times oh, to some no. friends and family. Uh, come on. I, I don't. I can't remember. 143? Oh, that's right. You never had anyone text page you with 143? Uh, never? I don't think so. Huh? Mm-mm. Come on. No. Why is it that? Maybe. I, for one. I don't know what the origin is, uh, but. Four, well, well, it's the, I guess the number of letters in each word. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm. Stephen has never gotten that sent to him. It's a damn shame. Terry, send him a page right now. With I will. Hold on. Hold on. Come on. You ever get a text page? All the time, huh? You ever get a text page with a 911 in it, Stephen? Doesn't that piss you off? <laughs> I have not. So when 911, you're like, oh, it's an emergency. Oh, what do you need? What's, what's going on? Hey, do you, do you have that five bucks you owe me? Yeah. <laughs> you ever have that, Terry? Yes, I have. Hmm. Hurry, call now. Never got a 143 in a text page? You never got a text page, have you, Stephen? You're not. Really a text page kind of guy. No, not really, no. Mm. Yeah, I can't really see Steven, like, driving around or walking around all in oh, texting. Geez. My thumbs are too big on the phone. I can't, it's hard to deal with Lord, when you're driving and, and all and that. You have no gel in your hair. So, uh, <laughs> exactly. Should we go at 69, 143? What are we doing here? Both? Uh, both. Okay. Wow. Let's do that. You have two options for your Valentine's Day loving type feeling that you're waking oh. up with this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have a dollar with a 93 in it, and it also, somewhere in the serial number, has consecutively either 143 or 69 for you true lovers out there. Oh, Oh, goodness. Mm -hmm. (laughs) For you true lovers out there, get out of that posture right now and call 1-866-663-T-MAN. And the first person who has one of those two offerings for dollar bills this morning will be your wiener. Woo-hoo. Now, what if we get a wiener oh, Why is there always who actually questions? has... Why is there always questions? Yes. What is your question? Well, what, what if, if we, we get, get a wiener that what? Who actually has, like, both. Whoa. Do they get like the double 60, money? Yeah. Well, not double like money, but do they get double meat a, at Safeway? Do they get... I mean, uh, Subway? <laughs> do they... Yeah. Double meat. Come on, you don't need double meat? No, I should. Do yeah. they get bonus uh, so It's bonus only like a dollar extra. It's a dollar extra for yeah. double meat. Oh, wow. Great. That's great a double meat. Jeez. But not when you get like the chicken teriyaki one. Well, right? if you get chicken teriyaki, you don't need double meat. But that's if you get like a cold cut combo. Oh, yeah. Oh. I don't know. You can't go with that slim, the thin slice of meat. You got to yeah. go double meat. That makes sense. Here's a box. Throw on more meat. Meat, meat. Here's four bucks. Throw on five times the meat. Oh. <laughs> Fimple meat. <laughs> so do they get a bonus prize? What's that now? A bonus prize? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, Terry Free will uh, give you a little hanky jacky. Uh, <laughs> if, you, exactly? if you have both, then there's oh, no winner for Shelly. Terry Free, a little hand jerky <laughs> for a bonus prize. No, I, I don't Terry, do that. A little Valentine's Day love from no, you. No, no. Giving no, back no. to the audience finally. No, I was just asking. You ever, ever, have a, <laughs> ever have a little? You weren't wanting to do that to somebody. <laughs> no, I don't think my 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 man would appreciate oh, geez, that. Ever, oh, listen to that. Ever have any little? Turkey jerky, Terry? No. No? You've never had turkey jerky? Never had turkey jerky. Uh, I knew this was a conversation. Stephen <laughs> Steven gets all Could good actually contribute. That. Yeah, he's got a symbol for that in text paging, but he doesn't have one for I love you. <laughs> it's a lot softer than the beef jerky, huh, Stephen? I do like it, yeah. You like the turkey jerky, huh, Stephen? Yeah. Where, where do you uh, often buy your turkey jerky? Uh, well, I've uh, purchased it at a grocery store. Mm-hmm. <laughs> God, you're an idiot. <laughs> I'm an idiot? Where else would you buy it? Which grocery store? Well, I bought it at the QFCs and uh, Safeways. <laughs> bought wow. it at both of them. Mm-hmm. Try to mix it up so they don't get a read on you too much. And oh. sometimes I buy it at the Alberto store. You go to oh, the authentic really? Alberto store? That's right. Mm. I, mean, don't. I have. Yes, say, on Rainier Avenue. You give our best to Alberto? Yes, I do. Oh, good. Oh, boy. Nice little lunch special down there. <laughs> Come on. A uh, Katie! Hello! Yes, Katie! <laughs> What's up? Um, I have um, the true love number. The true love number? Yeah. The one four three? No, no, no. The six nine. Oh, jeez. No, no, no. <laughs> and I have it twice. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, definitely both. Double, double meat. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the winning number, okay? You have the winning number twice? Yeah. Where are you right now? You're in your car, it sounds like. Did you pull over no. to the shoulder? What'd you do there? No, I'm at work. 
you don't pull over the shoulder for sixty dollars. Uh, uh, what do you What do you do? What do you do for uh, a living there? Uh, how do you make your money? I'm a barista. I work at a coffee shop. You're a barista. Um, you work on a daily basis, five days a week. What's the deal? Actually, I work seven days a week. What's the deal? Seven day a week worker? Oh, come on. No, I'm serious. Seven days a week. So it's a never ending cycle of work for you. There's never a day off. That is true. I mean, you get a you get a few days here and there, right? Um, I, I think I will. No, I've been working straight since ninety six. Got higher, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's okay though, because it's not really work. How many hours a day do you work? Um, just six. Six hours a day, seven days a week. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> It's pretty heavy. It's yeah. It's early okay. early morning shift always. Yeah, six and six in the morning till till noon. And that obviously gives you a lot of time to collect singles, a lot yes. of dollars with the ninety three in it are yours, huh? Yeah. Now, when you said you have sixty nine twice, does that mean you have two dollars with sixty nine in it, no. or you, you got one dollar bill that has sixty nine in it two times? Yes. Well, that's pretty amazing. <laughs> Uh-huh. You would think the government would want to refrain from that one. <laughs> <laughs> Releasing them like crazy. So do you have your regulars? Obviously, I imagine that uh, you who work so regularly, you have your regular customers, your loyal customers that come to see you just about every day. Is that fair to say or no? Yeah. You do. And uh, inside of that fan base of customers, do you have any men that have any... Uh, interesting and a little forward like comments for you on a somewhat regular basis or what? Um, or are you no, a chubby barista? No, they're, the, the guys are pretty shy. They just tip well, that's all. Oh, mm. wow. That's their silent way of saying, hey, babe, I'd like to get together with you. They tip yeah, well. Exactly. The, well, because you pay $2 for coffee and then you tip $2. So. The unnecessary wow. tip Very tells good. you, the unnecessary amount of a tip tells you that a guy may totally want you, right? Uh, yeah. Now, what if he asks you to pull out a boob for 10 bucks? Do you do that or no? <laughs> uh, no. Because I often ask that of my favorite baristas. <laughs> <laughs> so some guy, good-looking guy, in a kind of car that you like, if that matters, asks you to pull out a boob for 20 bucks, and you say no? Yeah, I'd say no. 50 bucks? Uh, no. 100 bucks? <laughs> 100 bucks and nobody knows. Cameras nobody are off. Knows. Yeah, cameras <laughs> off. Uh, you know, I just, I don't think I could do it. You're telling me. Guy drives up to, I imagine, what is a drive-up barista stand. Fair to say or no? Yes. The, yes. The, Independence. They, they don't have to get out of their car to get uh, what they need from you, right? Yes. Okay. Pulls up. Camera's not on. If there are any cameras to begin with, he asks you to sh take out a boob for 100 bucks, and you tell him no? Okay, well, hold on. If he's so great... Why does he need to pay to see a boob? Quick thrill on the way to work. Making his day. Mm -hmm. he must with a cup of coffee and a booby shot. And yes, he, he is a guy. <laughs> he is a guy with a lot to a lot going for him. He has a lot of women in his life. He's got a wife and kids, and yet he still wants to see a quick boob from you. Just well, just because you know what? It's just because he wants to put you to the test and try to break you down. A lot of guys obviously are that way. Now, do you give him what he's looking for and take out your boob and hang it out there for, for five seconds for 100 bucks or no? No. Wow. I don't know if I believe her, Terry. $100. Oh, well, maybe we... And he shows you the $100 bill. He puts it right there on the counter. Wait a minute. What if she... Maybe, because she won't do it for a guy, she'll do it for a girl. Oh. Oh, Terry. Oh. I think you're onto something, Terry, huh? Oh, uh, she must not have gone to barista school because well, this, I mean, this is textbook. They're... they're what do you what do you make an hour at the at the stand there? Minimum wage. Minimum wage, and you're telling me a hundred bucks here and there. All of a sudden, the 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 word gets out <laughs> that you have the you have the greatest hundred dollar snapshot of a boob uh, that you can find on Western Washington. You're telling me this is a little side income for you? He's not he's not gonna wow. he's not gonna touch <laughs> it. He's not gonna twist uh, your nipple ring. He's just gonna. He's just going to take a look and drive off. <laughs> like they drive up and, and order their coffee, coffee and, a, and a shot of a boob, too, please. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and then eventually she doesn't have to be asked anymore. She knows the customers who want right, to see it. And right, when they take right. out their hundreds, she's willing to just pull it out and then put it right back in. On second thought, forget the coffee. <laughs> I'll just take that. <laughs> All right. So the answer is no. She won't do that. And there's a double shot of boob. And there's no <laughs> price that she's willing to accept 
<laughs> to pull out her boob. Wow. Now, is there anything to pull out before we, uh, maybe, maybe I got, that's yeah, it. maybe that's why. Maybe that's why. You got something to pull out there or no? Uh, uh, yeah. You do? Yeah. You actually have a nice, full, flabby yeah. bit of boobature to pull out yeah. there. Flabby? Yes. Yeah. Well, if it's going to be big enough, Terry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, they're, they're big enough. It comes with the territory. Oh, okay. Got to make it through the window. Got to be a little flabby. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. That's why I quit going to the gym. <laughs> I mean, even these women with big breasts but had implants that look like softballs can't really pull them out well, Terry. Right. So she's got to pull it out. If right. you got the kind of boob you can pull out. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Then it's got to have a little flabberture to it. Gotcha. It's got to kind of droop down there. Wow. Here. Just lay it on the car. How's that for espresso? <laughs> Mm-hmm. All right. Well, that's that's you. Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> yes, I do. Oh, is that why you wouldn't? <laughs> no. How serious oh, are you with your boyfriend? Um, serious. Okay. <laughs> Would you like to elaborate on that response? Uh, well, we're pretty serious, but I don't, I don't really want to get married. So. Would well, you dump nobody... him for a hundred bucks? <laughs> no, not even for a hundred bucks. No. I, I don't know if he was asking if you wanted to get married. Was he? Um, is he? Not, no, because he knows how I feel. Is this like reverse psychology? I don't want to get married. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> has he ever inquired? Has he ever given you a hint that he'd like to get married? Uh, yeah. He has? Yeah. What has he said to you? I'm curious. What, uh, what are these hints? What are these uh, little conversations he has to you that re regard marriage? Well, he's just said that he wants to marry me. Mm-hmm. Someday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, someday. Not now. Definitely not now. How old are you? 23. What do you look like? Um, I'm short with brown hair and green eyes. Isn't it interesting? She's had no customers all through this conversation, Terry. I know. Just oh, my there. gosh, you guys. It's so true. This place sucks. Oh, jeez. <laughs> wow. Well, maybe you should try the boob thing. Yeah, maybe <laughs> you should. Nice. <laughs> Get some customers, then. Well, since you have <laughs> so much time on your hands, why don't you whip out that dollar bill and uh, read us the serial number that has the Valentine's Day numbers in it. Okay. Yes. It's K69459369. A. What was the last letter? A. A. Sounds good enough for me, Terry. All right. <laughs> Sounds like Katie. Woo! See, she doesn't go by <laughs> Kathy. Because we know. Katie. She goes by Katie. Yeah. So she's got a shot. Mm-hmm. Maybe she has a MySpace. What? Just, Terry is dying to know wow. if you can be viewed on MySpace. Um, actually, yes, I can. Oh! oh. oh. Every picture's with her boobs hanging out, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was free. Uh, would you like to share with us where we could find you or how we could find you? Or do you have an yeah. e email address you want to give Pasty Dave? Or what's the deal oh, here? Oh, oh, Pasty oh, yeah, yeah. Gets it now. Yeah, I'll give you my email address. All right, hang on the line. Okay. Well, well she could say it and then you could dump it. Settle down. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> is there well, any... It's always Dave now that gets to do well, it. Well, what, what, oh. what if the listeners as a whole, what if all the listeners would like to see you on MySpace? Is there any way other than giving your email address that uh, you can tell us? How to find you on MySpace or no? Um, can I can I just give my first and last name? I don't really care. Well, What's your display name? Well, if you don't I'm... care about your first and last name, you might as well give your email address over the year. Yeah, do that too. I don't care. All right, if you don't. She's mind. hanging it all out, but hey, don't show any people. boobies. Put her on with Pacey for some awkward banter. Yeah, <laughs> that's my all favorite. Right. <laughs> you, you know what? I give her email address over the year. I don't care. Why. I just like the awkward. Banter. All right, we like the awkward banter. Hang on. <laughs> Katie. <laughs> What's up, Katie? <laughs> I, I have to give an email address I'm supposed to get from you here. Oh, yeah. Oh, Absolutely. What is it? I was, I was given strict orders. Hey, do you want to roast my beans? Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Talk about a latte grande. Oh. Okay. T-O-N. Okay. Piping hot. 21. Gee, that's a long one. Oh, type in there, Pace. Yeah, for 21. We mm -hmm. got her. You don't spell it out. Yeah. Okay, we got 21. her. You got her? How we doing? Yeah. I, mean, I bet she's really hot. Is it an eye-opening shot of Joe experience or what? Oh, geez. Trying to find a bigger picture of her so I can see her. Oh. Bigger picture. Oh, she's oh, one no, of those. She's cute. She's she's one oh, of, she's cute, he Terry, she's one of those with those little tiny pictures. You really can't see what's going on there. Oh, she looks really cute in it. Oh, you did find a bigger picture? Yeah. Uh -oh. And you're, you're giving me the big thumbs up there. Oh, she's cute. Wow. She's cute. I can only see from a distance here, Terry, but I'm... I'm not minding it at all. Yeah, right. I can't wait to never call her. How does, <laughs> how does she have no customers? 
<laughs> they should be lined up around the block. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> Does she look like she has the kind of bloom she can just throw out there? Or uh, what? Most definitely. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Strung it out in my mind right now. <laughs> uh, can't wait to never touch those. <laughs> <laughs> Katie, why didn't you say so? No wonder you have those important dollar bills we were looking for. <laughs> oh, jeez. How long have you been going out with this guy? What? It's over uh, today? Oh, great. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, a year. A year. It's been a good year, mediocre year, bad year. How How's the year been? Uh, rough. Rough? Uh, uh, my life is up and down, but whose isn't? Oh, just... <laughs> She writes that. <laughs> I love it when he reads. Does that stuff make you like feel? That. Does that make you feel better, Katie? When you acknowledge that everyone's life is up and down, not not necessarily true. Some people's lives are just up. Well, those people are just lying. All right. Oh wow. If you say so. If that makes you feel better, if that helps you sleep well, uh, why has the past year been so rough? Um. Just well, not. Just not satisfying. Sounds like Pacey knows. <laughs> no, it's just that we just we don't communicate very well, and so we're always oh, fighting. Mm -hmm. And where is the communication suffering a uh, snaggle point? Me, I think. <laughs> so it's you look within Your yourself fault. as. I I think it's my fault. Okay, well, what do you need to do to get the communication going better? What kind of communication isn't uh, happening? Where, where? What's the problem? Well, I always Who needs communication? say one thing and mean something else. You always say one thing but mean something else? Yeah. Well, do you know what you mean when you're saying something else? Um, do you know what you're trying to say but just decide to say it differently? I mean, do you do this no, consciously or what? Are you just no, psycho like that? Are you not worth it? Are you a hot girl just totally not worth it because you're a psycho? Wow. Oh, yes. Did I say that all Yes. Right? No, I don't do it on purpose. So you say one thing and it just comes out wrong and it comes out with a different, complete interpretation. Yes. Well, why I should, have a customer. Why should why that be? Why a customer? <laughs> well, well, what, the you, bell. what she really means is, no, I don't. What's the over-under on how much you get tipped? Okay. Well, is she taking out that boob or not? Well, no. You should never offer it to the guy. So this is what Katie's telling us, that she's not happy in a relationship, but it's her fault. Right, because she... She's, everything she says, she doesn't mean. Right. And maybe, maybe uh, actually she's doing it to get a reaction. Maybe, you know, how some women, mm -hmm. we say things just to see what the reaction's going to be. She's about to go to sleep, hit the pillow. She says to her boyfriend, good morning. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> not that trivial, Terry? Yeah, not that trivial. Uh -huh. I don't do that. Oh, I, really sound, I hate you. Well, then oh, give, I, mean, I love you. Give me an example. Yeah, sometimes I would. So you've said to him, I hate you, and the true, <laughs> the true words you were trying to find is, I love you. Well, all guys are used to that. Yeah, I always get those confused. Mm -hmm. So do you love this boyfriend or no? Nah. Yes. You do? Yeah, I do. How often are you and him having sex? Tell me and the customer that's there, please. Um, well, every day, if not twice a day. Really? Wow. Yeah. Katie, Katie. <laughs> what does he do? He works at a restaurant. Oh. What's your, what's your specialty in regards to sex? What's what? What's your thing? What's your specialty? What do you do best? Ooh. Oh, wow. Everything? Out. Really? There's no yeah. place you come up short. Oh. You do it all. You do it all so well. Um, come on, but you got to have something that you're, even though everything across the board is really good when it comes from Katie, what is just the knockdown, drag out kind of moment in uh, the sexual experience when you have it with Katie? Oh, Hold she on, she's steaming up the milk. Mm, I bet she is, too. Yeah. Yeah, so am I. <laughs> is this in a... Whoa, she's breathing heavy over the milk. Come on, Katie, you know what floors the men. What is it? Um... I like to play with his balls. Oh, <laughs> <geez. Man. laughs> You eventually do get a direct answer, don't you, Terry? God, I'm going to yes. work at a restaurant if that's the case. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Well, <laughs> now I'm looking at a picture of you and your boyfriend, and you know what? Based on what you just told us, Terry, yes, it look like he deserves that. Yeah, I, I hope that's not her boyfriend, by the way. I hope not. Is this too. your boyfriend with the? Uh, he kind of looks a little the what? Italian one. Well, with the long, thin nose here, is that him yeah. with the with the bowl cut? With the bowl cut, the bowl cut. Well, I mean, what do you call yeah, that? Yeah, it's a bowl Pretty cut. Bad. It's a Matthew Swagger cut. That's a bowl cut. Yeah, it's not good. Not good. Is at that all. him? Uh, yeah. Oh, for, first off, 
first reaction was bow cut. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. I guess so. Mm-hmm. But he lets me play with his. Email. All right, easy. <laughs> All right. He's pretty cute, though. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, in the right lane, I guess. Okay. So you're not really into fat guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a pretty skinny guy. All right. He's just some wiry arms. All right, Katie. This is what? why nobody goes to your place. It takes you so long to make a coffee. Oh, geez. Hey, well, because I'm talking to you guys. All right, it was nice to meet you. Hang on the line. We'll confirm you're winning of $100 instantly. See you Congratulations. You, you didn't even have to take out a boob, and you got $100 Ow. and a key that may start that scion. Thank you. Now, what radio station likes to get their balls jiggled as well? <laughs> Yeah, that's the only music station. Q93. Yeah, that'd yeah. Be I can't just say Q93. Because uh, they're conditioned. Oh. They're programmed like that? Yeah. The listeners are? Yeah, they and The are. way I asked the question. I know. It the answer matter. is very simply. Just, oh, yeah, Q93 team. Right, right. Mm-hmm. I know. That's the one. Everyone knows that. <laughs> <laughs> All the DJs make it clear okay. that that's the case. Especially that Vinny the Pooh. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's get that phrase of his. Okay. I think jiggling the kids is kind of a dying art. Oh, jeez. I'm glad someone out there is keeping it on. (laughs) It is a forgotten moment. A young young lady at that. Terry, I bet you haven't paid attention to those kids in some time. Oh, jeez. You got so many kids running around. I don't know which kids to pay attention to. You've neglected those (laughs) kids, haven't you? What are they, orphans? (laughs) You have no love? They're just hanging out there. (laughs) Okay. What the hell is Katie... I know. Just firing <laughs> it. Throwing it out there. Uh, did we all just jump back when she said that? <laughs> <Yes>. <sighs> well, we get for asking. Yeah. Nosy. Remind me to keep asking. <laughs> the team. Former Creed singer Scott Stapp got married and then got arrested a day later. Stapp was arrested at LAX on suspicion of being under the influence of alcohol. Mm. He married a former Miss New York Friday night. Wow. Talk about just a horrible weekend, getting married and arrested in the same weekend. <laughs> yeah, I don't know which is worse. <laughs> Man, that is just a shame. He got arrested on a plane? Oh, my goodness. Uh, before he got on. What's the Creed lead singer's name? Scott Stapp? Scott Stapp. Stapp? Yeah. Man. And they also thought he had a bomb on board, too, but it turned out just to be a copy of a solo album, Terry. Wow. Yes. <laughs> Definitely. Because he's trying to go. S- s- he's good to go solo. Ah. He's good to, good, to, good to go solo. Oh. Yes. <laughs> so he thinks. Yeah. He, was yeah. in, he was in the worst band ever, so let's try it solo. Right. <laughs> and then see what happens. <laughs> well, they were pretty successful. I mean, they may suck, uh, but... For a rip-off band, yeah. yeah I they, guess they, they were... sold a lot out. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm. But... Don't tell me Scott Stapp is good to good to, good to go solo. Obviously not. This guy doesn't he have a solo album out or something? He does. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. and it's just not making it. Probably not. Okay. No. At least not making it in my world. Maybe it is selling. I don't know. Stephen, is it selling? Oh, look it up. I don't know. I mm-hmm. haven't heard much about it. He married Miss New York, though. Really? Can't lie to you and say there's. I don't know what she looks like, but there's got to be a bit of jealousy in everyone's mind hearing that. That yeah, was Miss Upstate, though. Oh, Miss Upstate. <laughs> uh huh. It's so like Jimmy Jam's people. <laughs> James Jam. <laughs> James Jam. <laughs> Stephen laughed at that one. No one else did. Anyhow, uh, what else? Terry's like, who's Jimmy Jam? Uh huh. Uh huh. What else is going on in the world, Terry? I know you're focused on some stuff on your pile. Oh, what? I see you uh, clipping away, or mm-hmm. at least highlighting stuff. As yeah, where, as, some interesting as stuff. where to, do, isn't the breaks the time for you to be highlighting stuff? I see you working on stuff as we're conversating here. Well, because you guys love your little inside jokes, and oh, never geez. think I get them, so uh, okay. I, why even participate? Oh, oh, is that so. the new philosophy? Well, then why don't you go ahead and I read? That's what we did around here. <laughs> <laughs> I can throw it at somebody else. Why don't you? Why don't you read some of the things uh, that you're uh, preparing over there? So it's not for for naught. What do you? You have? don't want Scott Stamp information. Would love it, yes. It's uh, on Amazon.com. His oh. album is uh, number 507. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, wow, is that, is that good? And my, I don't think so. And my musical solo album is 506. <laughs> right. Nice. <laughs> yeah, actually, no easy way out of selling real well. Oh, geez. <laughs> uh, and so, interesting. So this, this is an album that pretty much just came out, right? Or somewhere in the past few months? And it's uh, 507? Yeah. Last year, yeah. It was released November 22nd. All right, so the past few months. Yeah. Mm. And it's 507? He's one of those just really unlikable people. Weird Al Yankovic put out an album. It's in the five, four hundred stereo. I understand. Yeah, find out what Weird Al's best album is right now. Man. Weird. 
It's a weird. 507. So I wow. think it's fair to say yeah. it was a bomb. Definitely. Mm-hmm. I dropped the oxygen mask. Yeah, most definitely. The cabin is without pressure. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> We're going down at the head. <laughs> Bring Maroon 5 with you. Right. Oh. Uh, Stephen, the report on Weird Al is? Well, I can't seem to find his latest CD. Well, how do you how do you sit back and just get through each day knowing that your album is 507th no. and Barry Manilow's is number, number one? Number yeah. one. Okay. Were you shocked when you saw that? Yes. Barry Manilow is the number one album in the world when right now? When was the last time he had the number one album? In 1977. Okay. Yeah. Every 30 years, he likes to have a number one album. <laughs> so his next one is due in... Uh, Jeez. Yeah, in, in 2036. Mm-mm-mm. Barry Manilow will be number one again. Amazing. Mm. This Miss New York? Hey, the Pooh printed me out a pic. Oh, man, she's nice, too. Is she? Yeah. Mm, for an upstate chick? Bring her downstate. <laughs> <laughs> Send her downstream. So what'd you find, Stephen? Watch out for the big buoy there. Wow. Uh, I know. Well, his CD was released in 2003. So now? Weird Al's latest. Oh, is that right? So he hasn't had an album since 2003? Right, but it ranked uh, 1,694. Well, hey, that's big time for Big Al. <laughs> A weirdo. Yeah, it's been out for three years, man. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wait, it's been out for three years and currently it's 1,000 something like that? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty impressive. For being mm-hmm. out for three years. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's and not like it's off the... Weird Al. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Weird Al's wife is hotter than this. Oh, <laughs> sure. <geez. laughs> he lives with his parents, but... Oh, geez. <laughs> his, his girlfriend's cute. Mm-hmm. 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 Got a little sundress on, Terry. Oh, you like those yes, sundresses. Where'd you find this picture there of any of the poo? The poo is poo? Google. Why? Ooh, I Googled. You Googled. Googled. You Googled. You, I Googled you, all over it. You Googled all over it? What? You put, put it in her name or just that simple or what? Miss New York. Yeah, but are you sure it's the right one? Well, how do you know this is the right Miss New York? How do you know Because there was like seven, there was like a deaf New York, a Miss Teen New York. No, but he married the one from 2000. They have a new one every year. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh it was, really? It was the, yeah, I'll go back to it. How do you know this is, uh... The Creed lead singer's wife is Stab's my question. Wife. Yeah. What's her name? What's the wife's name, Stephen? <laughs> yeah, you, know? you might want to. Do I know? All right, never mind. I'll just keep this I... picture. Don't worry about it. I don't, I'm convinced this can't be his wife. I'm buying Weird Al CDs. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> What's on? Jacqueline. Weird? Her name is Jacqueline New. I can't even pronounce the last name. I can spell it for you. New Sh- Shy What? Oh, something. Geez. Yeah, that's the one. She's 25. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Here you go, Vinny. Here's the spelling. Is that her? Are you coming out of the little... Okay. Where's Pasty, by the way? He's downstairs? Getting uh, John John. John John? What is John John doing here? He's supposed to go to the billboard. I don't know. He just wants to feel like he's a part of something. Oh, jeez. He's a part of his own life. I guess. Well, what is John John doing here? He's supposed to be uh, reporting live from the billboard, Terry. I-, I don't know. Can we ask Pasty? Where's Pasty? Yeah, call Pasty. Just complete disarray now, Terry. <laughs> And I have I got stuff weird for out you. questions. I got Terry stuff. I got see what Scott Stapp does. He just ruins everything. I got <laughs> I got Miss New York names we can't pronounce. <laughs> Give me Pacey's number. Is it, where is it? It's over there. Oh wait. wait. Oh, you got oh, better than the number. What yeah. are you doing out there? What are you sneaking in for? You're not supposed to come in the middle of a segment like that. <laughs> why did Why did John John come down here when the the word is he's supposed to be heading down to the billboard to report, report live? Um, the word is John John's cell phone was uh, disconnected and had no cell phone, so he needed to come down here and get a phone from us. Uh-huh. Well, because he is our on the street guy, <laughs> so for the moment he is employed. Talk by us. about ghetto Terry. Yeah, absolutely. had to come down for a cell phone. <laughs> it's also, a good way for Pasty to get outside and smoke. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Not Give a whole me a studio minute. smells like it's unbelievable. <laughs> well, I'm I'm kind of nervous about giving up my phone because like every number I have is in this phone, so I so guess I'm nervous I had to go smoke. <laughs> but I mean, he's, strip, strip he's officially numbers here. in here. So he came down here before he goes to the billboard to get a phone. Correct. So he can report live from the billboard. Correct. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, in case you're not aware, and why would you be? In the past 24 hours, less than that, mm-hmm. a billboard expressing my still overwhelming feelings about the screw job that happened in Detroit at the Super Bowl, Terry, has gone up on Teddy Way! <laughs> and John John is going to report live from it because, well, peace. He's all we got. <laughs> 
Because he can actually get up out of bed. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, that's true. Wow. How about a wow. direct shot at the fiery chubby redhead? Oh, yeah. Uh, he's, he's made that well known that he can't get up and walk or do anything. Or so do anything for the show. Right. So John John's our last resort. Well, you know, and then he gets upset because we put him on the air. And the best we get out of gay is what you're saying is a naked phone call from bed, and that's not good enough. Mm, that's right. Aha. Uh-huh. Unabashed shot for no reason at all. Well, then it is confirmed, Terry. Maybe the 15000 that I promised gay goes to John John's uh, stomach stapling surgery. There you go. Mm-hmm. Go for it. He really hasn't done anything since... A couple years ago today, the chocolate thing. Mm-hmm. After that, it was all downhill. That's yeah, right. when was the last time he's actually like really done something? That's Besides correct. We are celebrating the anniversary of uh, the big dip. The last real function that Gay participated in on this program, which was dipping him in chocolate on Valentine's Day, right? And pelting him with Fruit Loops or whatever those things were. <laughs> when? The waffles. How many years ago was that? Two, three years ago? Four years ago? What was something that? Something like that. I'm going to say two. Not last no, year. Two? More than, more than no, two. No, I'm going to really? say. Four. Four years ago. Three or ago. four. Four? Yeah. <laughs> Was it three years ago? Three to four. Come on, somebody's got to know. It's our show. <laughs> yeah, call this. Do we chronologically? Maybe it says it on the website. Call the TV show and ask him. <laughs> John John knows. Mm-hmm. Yeah, John John knows. Yes, John John for the tape. Come on, Stephen. Uh, I, I would say, candy, I right? was going to say like four years, but I'm thinking maybe it's three. 2003, I'm going to say. Mm-hmm. That would be three years ago, right? Well, still. Oh, wow. Mm. Math aficionado, we're waiting for you to figure that out. Let's see. Uh, gay dip, it says. It doesn't give a year on it, though. Gay okay. dip? That sounds... Mm. What uh, sounds like is on your... Tobacco. I know. What is on your pile there, Terry? Well, the first little uh, thing that I have on my pile is an, actually an interesting fa- uh, stat. Mm-hmm. It says here that 34% of women say that if their dog was a man... He'd be their boyfriend. Ow! <laughs> but that doesn't stop them from getting all freaky with him. <laughs> That's right. You had a girlfriend whose mom got freaky with the dog. Put a little peanut butter here. Whoa! Yeah. Um, hey, boy. The survey was actually done by the AKC, the American Kennel Club. What kind of stat is that? If their boyfriend was a man, they'd be what? Doing them? No, if their dog was a man, he'd be their boyfriend. He'd be their boyfriend. Yes. Well, because plenty all, of boyfriends who were dogs out because there. Because all but. the personality <laughs> traits, all the loyalty that the dog shows the female owner is everything she's looking for in a man. Is well, that what we're supposed least, to... Well, the, yeah. There are... In fact, that is something that's kind of interesting, too, along with this stat, is that they say that 90% of all people say their dogs ha- their dog has at least one endearing quality that they'd like to see in their significant other. Yes. And you mentioned... And although voice. he goes down the street and screws that bitch in the house <laughs> a few yards away, he always comes home at night to me. Right, and produces a litter. <laughs> Unlike my husband. <laughs> right. yeah. Uh, I have an interesting stat when it comes to guys and their dog. It says here that 58% of uh, guys say that their dog is a foolproof chick magnet. Mm. Well, that's important to have. Mm-hmm. Fascinating. Uh, yeah. Also, yes. 66% of uh, all dog owners say they wouldn't date someone who didn't like their dog. Mm-hmm. Is that a reasonable way of thinking, Terry? Yes. The person that you uh, enjoyed a first, second, third, maybe even fourth date with finally comes to your apartment, meets your dog, and is like, ah, oh, man, look at that hairy beast. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll put my pants back on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if you don't like my illegitimate children, that's okay. <laughs> wow. Where did that come from, dog? Doesn't like your dog? Is that a sound reason to stop dating them? Everything else is going just swimmingly up to that point, but meets the dog, kind of gets creeped out, or doesn't have a real connection with the dog. You ready to dump his ass? Yes. Deal breaker. Let me tell you something. It is. Women are not in a situation a lot of times these days where... They need to be dumping men just because they don't like the dog. By the way, I bet you anything, it's more a, it's more a guy thing than a girl thing. Uh-huh. I bet you anything that more guys are willing to yes. let a girl go. I see your point. Your point is that men are getting more and more neurotic these days, just like women. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. pretty yes. much. You may be onto something. So. <laughs> All right, hang on to that. The team. Your guess is good as mine. Why can't I turn off the radio? Next weekend, 10 chess champs will battle each other for the state championships. It's at the UW-Tacoma Branch campus. Right. You can go watch, but you have to be quiet. No cheering allowed. Oh, good. Well, I'll try to contain myself. Wow. <laughs>
Man, I'm glad you told us the way it is, Terry. I was about to bring my foam finger and uh, <laughs> really get rowdy. Raise it. Woo! Yes. Come on, let's do the way. Sure, and the pom-poms. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, it's because the, the, the checker tournaments get really out of control. I know. There was that riot. And... <laughs> well, when you jump somebody's king. Yes, people get a little bit testy. <laughs> right. Depending on where they're from, Terry, when you jump the king. Now, uh, oh, geez. Mm. I heard it was so vicious the last checker riot. Somebody lost their, their checker and board and finger there. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> they have to do what they have to do, put up barricades and uh, keep I, the crowd quiet. I guess so. Well, I'm glad to know that the chess champion will be crowned by the end of this weekend, Terry. Woo-hoo! All yes. right. Then it can play me. Oh, wow. Chess is, chess is pretty fun. Mm. I actually like it. That's, uh, that, that's something you want to watch, though. It's quite the mental warfare. Oh, it is, huh? You see what happens to that person in the crowd that stands up and goes, Bishop to Rook 4, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, you'll have to leave. <laughs> <laughs> I, I paid my admission. <laughs> that's that's what you want to be this weekend. What uh, what else is going on? Oh, you were doing some dog stats. Yeah, I love the I dog stats. Yes. People are so into their dog. Oh, uh, my prospective boyfriend or girlfriend doesn't like my dog. That's it. It's over. That's no right. No chance. No, that's right. What's wrong with them? Mm. Obviously, this isn't a match made in heaven. Right. I'm just saying, Terry, with so many desperate women out there. Mm-hmm. Do they really have that kind of uh, leeway in their life to be that selective, Terry? Everything else checks out, but he doesn't like my dog? I think so, yeah. All right, if you're right, old made it, baby. <laughs> old made it. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you want any more stats? Because I have a few more that are kind of interesting. I love dog stats. Oh, sure you dog do. Dog stats. Because I know more and more women, Terry, these days, and I'm sure it says it somewhere on there. I'm noticing more and more ladies very into the raw dog. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, are don't they? deny it, Terry. That's a good breed. Yes. Once those age statistics leveled off, oh, it's back to raw dogging it the way <laughs> the women love it. <laughs> Just them, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, women demand it, yes. Okay. Mac can go either way. I'll put on a little Jimmy, or I'll do you a raw dog. Which one do you want? Oh, raw dog? Okay, okay you, know, you can't wait. Oh, geez, oh, I'm already inside. <laughs> wow. Just a tip, just a tip, just a tip. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. Okay, I don't want to hear the inside of your homes. Okay, right well. Homes. Homes. <laughs> well, inside I was going to say homes. house, but homes, I meant. So you combined to. house and homes and came up with homes. Yes, I did. What other um, interesting dog stats are there? Oh, here you go. Yeah. 18% of dog owners say they have included or would include their dog in their wedding. Sexual activities? What? No. In their dog wedding? In their just wedding. even worse. Oh, it's not that bad. Right. It's just a wedding. He's the, he's the ring bearer. The mm-hmm. Oh, how cute. Yeah, all dressed cute. up. 18% would or have? Would, would, would and have. Would consider it, you said. I thought have well, have included or would include. Well, there's include. a big difference between would and have. Well, that's what the they would if someone would actually propose to these women <laughs> that are so into their dogs. And they... those who did get married and had a dog have included their dog. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's why these women that have 19 cats <laughs> never get married, Terry, because they're waiting for some guy to come along that likes all 19 of them. <laughs> you know, I like that one, 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 but that one over there, I can't stand. Get out. <laughs> Maybe that's the reason that you always see these women with multiple cats, completely single, and with no prospects. Mm. 19 cat bridesmaids on one side. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I got a mind. Oh, my goodness. Unbelievable f- freaks. Anyhow. Oh, and I have one more. Yes. Uh, 14%. Come on, Steve, what are you laughing at? You don't think a woman with 19 cats is a freak? I do, yes. Is that overstepping? Uh, I think that's a little much. Okay. But about, no, I mean, is that overstepping on my part to suggest that a woman with 19 cats is a freak? I think there's a good chance of that, yeah. We had a woman in our old neighborhood back in the day who had so many cats. Anytime one was straggling around the neighborhood, we knew where to take it. Right. I think it's 16 too many. So three's your cutoff. Yeah. For freakness. I think two's the cutoff. <laughs> Once you add the third, you got problems. <laughs> <laughs> You got problems. <laughs> um, I'll just give you one more stat. All right. Uh, 14% say that their partner is jealous of their relationship with their dog. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. I actually have Why a- can't we have what you guys have? <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> Isn't that great? Because he's actually skilled with his tongue and you're not. Wow! Why, why can't you pick up my poop in a little baggie? Mm. <laughs> Take me on long walks. Yours takes two days to harden. Just wait. <laughs> That's lovely. Well, let me tell you. 
people and their dogs. That's a relationship that has never wavered, Terry. No, it that's never true. gets weakened. It's always been strong. Mm -hmm. It's never any trends. Yep. It's always, through the years, been a solid connection. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yes. I know you're watching the Westminster Dog Show, too, right? Is that why all these stats have come yeah, up? I'm sure it is. Because the Westminster because Dog Show is, yeah, is, is on the place. air? Yeah, it's taking place, yes. Mm. I can't wait to see Actually, the winner have, this year. Yeah, we have a judge from this area. Who Terry, I mean, you're telling me the chess finals of this weekend and the Westminster <laughs> Dog Show, this is too much for me to handle. <laughs> I know oh, it is. man. All on the same weekend. <laughs> a little overwhelming, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's too much. <laughs> Please. It's, it's screwed by the officials again, probably. Mm. <laughs> Damn it. Jeez. Yeah. The, the bulldog had all four feet in. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. It would be outrage if some dog got screwed out of his rightful title, right? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, they take it very serious. But the Seahawks oh, have a rightful title as Super Bowl champions, and someone rips it away, and uh, no one seems to care outside of, of Seattle, Terry. And even the people in Seattle are so complacent. They're moving on. <laughs> but not me. No, you Never! Sign <laughs> up to prove it. And to prove it, it's not just a sign, Terry. Oh, I know. It's the biggest billboard you can buy. Oh, I know. Okay, I didn't just buy one of those little poster boards no, out there. No, you did not. Or one of those little bus signs. No, you didn't. I bought the biggest billboard you could find. Mm -hmm. And right now as we speak, I don't know why Vinnie the Pooh decided to follow John John, but Vinnie the Pooh... Yo, this thing is huge. He loves him. Oh, jeez. I don't even want to know what you're referring to. Uh, uh, the billboard. John John. Oh, you're at the billboard already? <laughs> John John. Yeah, you and John John got that close that quick? No, John John is... Uh, Thankfully for me, in another car behind me. So it wasn't hard for you to find the billboard. No, 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 just, just run up Denny. Like, yes, like, Terry. I did like not. It. I did not talk about the billboard last week, even though it was in the works. <laughs> right. Because I wasn't sure that I was going to be able to find the right spot downtown. Mm -hmm. But when I talked to the billboard people and they told me about a certain spot, I said, "Yeah, that sounds good enough. It's downtown." It's an area where people will uh, will congregate because it's right by the Thirteen Coins Restaurant. You know, right. people hang out there like, uh, Love like crazy. Love it, yes. And it's the biggest billboard you can buy. So all those reasons made it so that yes, as of yesterday around noontime, a billboard went up regarding my never wavering feelings on as it pertains to the screw job in <laughs> Detroit, Terry. Right. And uh, Vinny the Pooh is staring at it right now. Is that right? Yeah, I'm uh, I'm turning around, but this thing is uh, it's, it's like it's huge. Like the the little referee got a little thick mustache on. Mm -hmm. and got little All right, so the, but the message is clear. The message can be read. Oh yeah, uh, would you like me to read it to you at this time? No, because it's not suitable for air. That's one thing oh, that okay. uh, is obvious. Okay, I put uh, a suggestion in there that uh, can't be read on the air, Terry. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, but it is blaring it. all through town. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's funny that it's okay there, but yes. Yeah, really? I saw Mr. Official. The next time I'll really oh, check you. Okay. Oh, it's not getting anyone to understand what he's saying. We didn't realize that we could kiss our men in stripes goodbye and it's taking on the official skills. Okay, baby. ladies and gentlemen, it sounds to me that John John is live right outside the billboard on oh, Denny Way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, give me some. Everybody traveling east and west on Denny Way. I want you to wave your hands in there. Right, like you just don't care. So, uh, wait, would John John be great at the club or what? Oh, I know. So, yeah, talk, about a, okay. talk about a double whammy, Terry. Not only, double whammy. Not only is that brand new shiny billboard. Bonus whammy. The message sent and the message is clear mm -hmm. that I needed to uh, have put up in town, Terry. Not only is uh, that the case, yes. but talk about your bonus prize. If you head on down to the billboard right now, John John Broadcasting Live. All right. Wow. Broadcasting Live from the only station to bring you the Steelers, the Seahawks, and whatever Garrett Fagan and Stripes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I don't even know what he said, but that, on the billboard, I think I heard him. Jimmy and uh, Ninth Avenue, right here with Cube 93. I don't know if that's where it is, but it's oh, close enough. Jeez. Yes. So if you're going to 13 Coins for breakfast, take a look at John John and lose your appetite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I understand Vinny's buying breakfast. Is that true? Uh, that sounds fine to me, yes. And I'll cover oh, it. Wow. Because, because it John John is. Because John John is broadcasting oh, live. Oh, yes, he is. We he have is to celebrate the moment by offering him breakfast. People are honking their <laughs> horns, people are passing by this billboard. I know there are going to be a lot of people that uh, are going to say, T-Man, why don't you get over it? And my response to you is very clear. Never. <laughs> never. I will never get over it. The expression is forgive but never forget. Ooh. Not good enough. Right. I will never forget and I will never forgive. <laughs> because, Terry? Yes. 
They denied us our parade. Not that I would have gone over to stay home and watch it on TV. They denied us our parade in downtown Seattle last Tuesday with Paul Allen picking up the bill. You know, that would have been pretty big time. They denied us. I'm reading in the paper this morning that the Super Bowl champion Pittsburgh Steelers will do the traditional opening game on ESPN this coming uh, September to open the season. That's our game, Terry. Yep. That's our game. I understand. Right now, as we speak, Jerome Bettis and his fat ass in Disney World sinking <laughs> Never Never Land. And I'm supposed to sit around and not uh, be upset that it's, it's not Sean Alexander <laughs> with his gap teeth smiling for all the the, the people there. Yeah, I think that's what we're looking for. What, he's, what are you saying, John John? Uh, who knows? Who are you want I to see? <laughs> Turns it on, man. Down in a god darn broke down Seahawks uniform. What the hell is wrong with him? I, I don't know. I can, can you believe I'm asking that question? Yeah, I know. Hello? <laughs> it's too bad sports Hi, not open for breakfast. Doing? Good to see you. What's your name, girl? We oh, that's so good. Great. No. Oh, love the billboard. You love the what? I love the billboard. And we love you too, baby. <laughs> Thanks for coming out. You look insane. Well, I'd really come out. I work right <laughs> over there. <laughs> yeah. I'm yes, a homeless no. person, you, baby. And some something put me on the morning show. Oh, jeez. All right. Well, that's oh. not what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for the big. Excuse me. Okay, John. Oh. John. Yes, if you'd I'm like. I'm gonna wave at everybody real quick. John. John, can you hey, hear good me? Morning. How you doing? Oh. No, he's too busy. Good morning. Being can you shake him real quick? No. No. Okay. Well, thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Why you say, can you shake him real quick? Shaking your ass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Working that dirty thing. Oh, jeez. John, John. Hey, hey, good morning. Oh, John, wait, John. We got some old man with some glasses on. Oh, geez. He looks like he might be a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. Mm, hey, yeah, that's what they look you like. Do? You say something like that about me and then uh, think I'm going to help you out. Get out of here. Oh, you sound fine. Are you a Pittsburgh Steelers fan? He's making okay. a lot of friends out there, too. I'm like being an attorney. <laughs> <laughs> John John's uh, approach may need a little work, Terry. Yeah, a little mm. fine-tuning. Because when I heard the guy right, he's like, how can you say something about me and then expect me to come on with you? <laughs> out right here. Nice yeah, John's not, he's not exactly the consummate professional that... Uh, hey, Vinny. Approaches you in the most standard way that a Going radio professional would, Terry. Right. Looking for the Mr. Official. Next time at least... All right, John, John, John. going to Miami. Miami next year. Uh, John, John. Oh, John, John. Don't you look at me. John, John. Call for me, ball boy. John, John. Hopefully they don't the kid you on him. John, John's going to go sicklers. He's going to get arrested right under the sign here. Yeah. John, John. Hey, what? Hey, female, what's cracking, homie? Can you hear me? Can we talk for a second here? Yeah, we can talk anytime you want to talk to you, man, because you're on the man. You're not out, you're not in the restaurant right now, are you? are outside on the street? I'm on the corner of um, uh, Denny Way and uh, Virginia Street. Okay, so you're outside. That's good. Listen, I like your idea of approaching people and uh, doing a little on-the-street interview. But maybe you need to work on your approach before you get all John John crazy like. You know what I'm saying? Maybe start talking with them and then uh, do whatever uh, comes to your mind. All right? Okay, well, but you're, but you're like scaring that. people. You're scaring people out of the state. No, that sounds to me. Hold on a second. Mm-hmm. He's done oh, listening to you. the T-Man show rocks. We love the T-Man show. <laughs> Yeah, well, we do. We really do. Yeah, it's, a <laughs> it's very important that that's the case. Yeah, too. well, we got we're expecting snow, but hey, is it snowing? How are you doing? Give me a break. It's not snowing. Oh, killing your Starbucks coffee. Hey, ma'am, can I talk to you for just a minute? No. <laughs> oh, you love. Oh, 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 that was a shutdown of my face. We yeah, were, I'm sure you're very unfamiliar with that. Oh, that was a kiss of my ass. Okay, there it is. John, John. I don't even know what she said. She didn't say a word. Uh, reporting live. She uh, sprinted away in her high heels. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's a great live reporter. Uh, Terry. Man. It's also fitting. The billboard is up. Yes. John, John, the first to report from it. Van the Pooh sitting in his car just watching. <laughs> yeah. And the message is clear. <laughs> and the message is very direct. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm fascinated, Terry, that that your husband driving on his motorcycle yesterday had to stop his moving vehicle and call you at home yeah. asking why you never even told him that this thing was going up. You, you didn't have much information about it. Right, I right. kept it very hush-hush. You did. I'm not going to talk about it and then not have uh, everything meet my satisfaction. Once everything did, then it went up. Uh -huh. well, what did he say to you yesterday? He thought it was very good. Oh, he liked it.
As a sea, is he a Seahawk fan, or oh, he's yeah. too busy he's during the games to really get into them, Terry? Because no, I know he works outside the, the he facility. He does, but he's also, he, he also goes in and watches the games. Mm, he does. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. So he's a big fan. Mm-hmm. I'm just dashing away with Dancer Queen. Oh, okay. my gosh. <laughs> yeah, but he's calling other people gay. Mm-hmm. Oh, gay. <laughs> but he likes chicks. Uh, yeah. <laughs> He's outside the billboard, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's a great idea. Yeah. Yes. No one will come within 50 yards of that place. <laughs> but you can fortunately see it from a distance. Thank goodness. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The T-Man. Angel? Yeah? What's up, baby? Hey. Um, I was calling because, you know, you're talking about, um, like, people being jealous of um, their girlfriend's dogs or whatever. Yeah. My boyfriend is very jealous of my dog. Is that right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is the dog just better looking or what? Mm. No, he, he thinks I spend more time with my dog than him. <laughs> is that so? So how do you handle it? Um, ignore my boyfriend. Mm. It's hot. That's smart. <laughs> yeah, and how does your boyfriend deal with it? You're ignoring him. Yells and screams. Yells and screams. Breaks out, yeah. Man. What a blessing that would be. <laughs> I say it's time for Xbox. Wow. <laughs> so he really is like into you. Yeah. Ah, it's got to be a bonus, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> how long have you been going out with this guy? Um, in like six days is six weeks, months. Six months. Yeah. And if you had to give up him or your dog, it would obviously be him, or is that uh, not really the case? You had um, to give up one. You had to say goodbye forever to one. Ooh. One of them has goodbye to get forever? hit by a car. Goodbye forever. No contact of any kind from that moment on. Uh, maybe my boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Because, because my dog... Because your dog is a bigger wiener, I understand. Wow. Uh, who who uh, Who does? Maybe yes? I shouldn't be presumptuous. Yes, who has a bigger winner, your dog or your boyfriend? Uh, my boyfriend. He does. <laughs> she sounds so confused with that question. She, well, she, you know, in the back it's of her mind, she's scary. like, well, i got to go home and measure that again. Yeah. But, mm-hmm. What kind of dog do you have? Uh, I don't know. My ex-boyfriend gave him me. He found him on the side of the road in Oregon. Really? So it's like a salvage, uh, stray, he sick dog like, kind um, of thingy. He's, I don't even know. He looks like everything put into one. Wow. That's why your new boyfriend doesn't like him, probably. Yeah, the ex mm-hmm. gave him. Yeah, he thinks he's ugly. Oh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And he makes fun of me because I paint his toenails pink and make him wear pink. I'm sure your dog loves that, and if he could speak, he would tell you to keep doing it. My dog is, like, he's gay, and he thinks he's a cat. <laughs> <laughs> we know somebody like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you have such a close relationship with your dog. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. About everything going on in your life. It sounds like it's steering in the right direction, wouldn't you say? It's, yeah. Aren't sure. you happy with the course that your life is headed in? Um, I guess. Oh, jeez. How old are you, Angel? I'm 17. And the name Angel, that's a given name by your parents you don't know to anymore? Or are you, uh, or are you just going with name. a nickname? Oh, that's your real name? Uh-huh, yeah. Uh-huh. Your parents just on the day you were born looked at you and said, Ah, oh, what an angel. There's no other name to give. My mom had uh, eight miscarriages before she had me, Whoa. so... So you were the angel. Oh, eight guess. miscarriages, Terry. Wow. Doesn't there come a point after enough miscarriages, your your womb or your inner workings just reject the possibility of even having a conception happen? Obviously, it doesn't because Man. there's angel. Gotta keep trying. You were the ninth try? <laughs> Is that right, angel? I guess. Um, well, I don't know. math. Well, she again. eight miscarriages. You would be the ninth, the ninth try. My mom had kids before that, so I was like the tenth or eleventh or twelfth or something. So she had a couple of kids, then nine, eight miscarriages, and then you. Yeah. And so you became the angel. <laughs> yeah. Angel of Harlem. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's what you want to call me. If you knew Harlem, you may actually take that as a knock or a compliment. I don't know how you take it. But anyway, <laughs> all right. Very interesting, Angel. All right. All right. Wow. Oh, she's the angel of the morning. 
Good luck to you and your boyfriend. I'm not Stop playing it, Stephen. Oh, okay. Really? Okay. He, he had it queued yeah, up. Of course he does. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right, let's just see if he's accused of Stephen. Oh, man. <laughs> Jesus. Angel's dog is howling right now. I know. But does she have angel eyes? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Stephen, hit it. Oh, it didn't click. Oh, wow. Oh, this is a little tolerable. I'm like Juice oh, Newton. <laughs> Juice Newton. <laughs> Sometimes she, she talks to angels. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would have a she for that. Oh, yeah. Really threw you off. <laughs> oh. Isn't this, wasn't it played in the movie, this song? Is this the Jeff Healy band? It is, yeah. When they were, wasn't he blind? <laughs> yes, blind. when they were behind the... Uh, the cage the and, cage. and Roadhouse. Yeah, and Roadhouse. <laughs> Speaking of behind the cage, live to the street we go. To the angel eyes of our morning, Terry. Hey, Cross hey, angel hey, eyes. What's up, your boy John Tom from Three Man the Morning Show? You know what? I can understand this. What were the Steelers rush thinking? Okay. Dear Mr. Official, that's dear Mr. T Man. Okay, can you can you not spit all over Pasty's phone? I'm really okay. I'm really sure Pasty's excited that he gave his phone over to John John Jeez. for this uh, morning's activity, and he can't even understand a word he's saying, Terry. Tell him he's not a hot patroller. He doesn't have to go through his routine. Yeah, he does. I know he's talk. he's always longed to be a hot patroller. Why why the music stuff? Oh, just, I know he's always had this desire to be on the Hot Patrol staff and do reports out from the street, but this is not like an audition. Just relax. I know. Where's Vinny the Pooh? Is he still out there? Yes. You're all in the busy intersection. He's, he's, he's still talking. I punched up the wrong line. Vinny the Pooh, is this your line? Uh, yes. Okay. Obviously, right, John... I, I, I got somebody here with me. I'm getting ready to ask him about his uh, billboard reaction. You're going to do the interview because John John can't? Because we can't get an audible. He's over here, he's That's over a good here point. His arms around strangers, try, attempting to get arrested. Yeah, not a good move. We we can't get an audible interview out of John John on the street in front of the billboard, Terry. So I guess Vinnie the Pooh is going to pick up the slack. Good. How close are you to John John? Not too close, I hope. I, I'm directly across the street, but luckily, good for me, move. Once again. It's a busy street. So mm -hmm. <laughs> he, can't, he can't just come running across. So you yeah, hear all the come. all the attempts John John's made at uh, getting a couple of comments from people. That's all I'm kind of interested in, Terry. Yeah. I'm sure the consensus is going to be, why the hell is that billboard up? Take it down. You yeah. know, uh, we're over it. We're past it. We're moving on. We don't want to dwell on it. And I say, screw that. <laughs> right. And I just want to hear what people's thoughts are as they stare at the new T-Man billboard regarding the screw job in Detroit, <laughs> Terry. There's a, right. there's a picture of an official, mm -hmm. and then the message is clear. And John John uh, can't do any interviews, that's obvious. He's already yelling at people, He's man. just yelling at people and throwing his arms around people, Terry. And yeah. I'm sure he'll have a lot of guests for breakfast. Yeah. After all the love he's sharing on Valentine's Day, so yeah, Vinny, good no, good idea. Why don't you Why don't you find someone on the street, stop uh, them, and uh, have, okay, a little, yeah, yeah, have, have a little have a little tay to Yes. Hey, hey, did you uh, did you see that billboard right there? What do you think about it? He should be wearing a yellow hat. He should be wearing a yellow hat. He says. <laughs> I, th I <laughs> yeah. thought of that, Terry, but there's so many pictures on the internet floating around of the officials in the yellow hat that I decided to go standard official look. Right. Do you think uh, Do you think T Man's right on with that? Like. He couldn't have said anything better. Yeah, the guy looks like he's blind. Yeah, that's all right. He said the official looks like he's blind. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I should have put Stevie Wonder under the hat, Terry. <laughs> he would have so done positive, a better job officiating. Mm -hmm. Positive reaction so far here on the street. All right, because if there is that overwhelming positive reaction or a overwhelming negative reaction, Terry, I just may put up one in Pittsburgh oh, as well. Oh, I think that's God. very fitting. Yeah, right. Ask the guy if I should put one up in Pittsburgh. Okay. Hey, hey, did you see this billboard behind you? Are you, are you a football fan? All right, this dude's obviously not a football fan. Hold on, excuse me, I'm sorry. Hold on, I'm walking up. Oh, Jesus, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Hey, did you get a chance to read that billboard behind you? you, you are you a football fan? You're not a football fan. No, sorry. I'm sorry. Is he a trade professional? Does he have to say the F word to people? <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to get the John John right before our very eyes. Did I just hear Vinny the Pooh say the F word? Yes. yes. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a football fan. This means a lot it's to me. It's not people about just, being a football geez. fan. This is not a football story. No, I'm just saying this means a lot to me. People are just walking past me like, no. Like, Seattle getting the shaft in the Super Bowl is not a football story. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. It was I'm a historic either. moment. Stripped away. Yep. Oh, I'm going to ask this dude, okay. You know what, Vinny? Maybe I should go back to John John. <laughs> Hey, lady, how you doing? Are you a 
A football star. <laughs> a football <laughs> star. Yeah, that's the question we wanted to ask. <laughs> yes, by chance I am. <laughs> I'm in the Hall of Fame. First of all, baby. Let me tell you, we got quite the dynamic duo out there this morning on working both sides of the street. Oh, here's a cab driver. We gotta get. We gotta get here and you as a cab driver right now. How you doing? Yeah, maybe it's the guy you ran away from that got you arrested back there six months ago. He needs to be marked a hero in Seattle because ain't nobody gonna admit to that. I can't cuss, can I? Yeah, don't cuss, sir. Okay, well, look here. The bottom line is, there's the car right there on the billboard. People need to come down here and take a look at this. It's the truth. I know America don't, they're not into it no more. Dick Cheney and Bush and all, we got to keep secrets, but there's the truth on the billboard. Somebody needs to do something about this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that billboard... And what should, what should the city officials do about those strikes? We weren't playing against the Steelers. There's a lot of spit flying right now, Oh, Jerry. I know. I'm getting hey, a shower. Strikes, the strikes belong there because prisoners should still be wearing strikes. Oh, oh. Okay, thanks for the input, sir. From Red Top Cap, Seattle. So, I Evan, mean, how you doing, man? So, you're out here... You know, well, the billboard you, actually fired that guy up, Terry. What do you about the game, man? Tell us the true feelings about the game. Not it's about what you thought. It's great to the NFL, man. Those guys should be barred away. Barred away. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. That's just a, bu a bunch of baloney, man. You know, it's... it's uh, the Even when the uh, that one touchdown where the guy put the ball across the line, okay. he told the guy... I, I don't need to guy. recap for the game. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I'm almost, I'm, that for the first time, I'm actually regretting putting the bill <laughs> <up now. laughs> I don't need a recap of the game. Yeah, you're over the actual yeah, game. It's not about the game necessarily hey, anymore. Man. It's about the lasting effect that I feel, Terry. I oh, no. John, John, ask that guy if you... Oh, Never mind. Never mind. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the billboard is up on Denny Way. Yeah. <laughs> That's all you need to know. That's right. And fortunately, you can see it from about four blocks away. <laughs> yeah. So you really don't have to go talk to anybody. Uh, and that. I think the, the word we got is if you're three blocks away, you won't be hit by the flying spit of John John. <laughs> But you have to be, yes, outside of a three-block radius. But if you so need all a the weather guys said that we're having a snowstorm got it wrong. Yeah. It's really John John. It's John John. Okay. Yes, we, we only should have actually a half inch of snow on the ground, but we have two inches. <laughs> Where John John is. Because of John John. It's a mix of cracker crumbs and spit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a little like snow. If you need a car wash, just drive on by John John. And I put the pooiest poo on for a little professionalism, God. and he throws the F word out live on the air. Boy, he's professional. Luckily for him, we got a seven-second delay. <laughs> that, that's my fault. I apologize. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's an, it's an emotional thing for me. But, yes, uh, I understand. I understand. John John just had a rousing interview with some guy walking by on the street. Yeah. No, it's it's uh it's crazy. You should have seen him before. He was right. He ran up to a poor old lady, threw his arm around her, almost knocked her down. Oh, she oh. dropped her bag. Okay, and yes. the spirit just yelling at him. Mm. Yeah. That's a pretty good imitation. And I'm I'm yelling at him from across the street. John, John, stop, man! You're hurting this old lady. Okay, the bottom line is, does the billboard fire you up? Are you ready yeah. to? Uh, go ask the first person you see if the, if you were to have a naked party up on that billboard tonight, if they join you. Wow. You know what? I'm going to ask somebody that. Way. Okay. Yeah. I bet you can oh, get a lot. Let's see how fired up they are. Can we try to res restrain yourself from using the F word. Oh, please. Yeah. That may okay. not work well in this line of questioning. So you want me to ask somebody if, if we had a naked party on top of the billboard? If they you, if you, if I held a naked party up on that fair billboard tonight, would you be joining me? Gosh, John John can get it done. Wow. What are you saying? Can I ask you a question real quick? Yeah. If I held a naked party up on top of that billboard... Would you be joining me? As long as you guys are like a bunch of chicks, yeah. But not, as long as you brought not, a bunch of not, chicks. Not me and John John. Just if we had a bunch of chicks, maybe. Well, of course. Hey, um, uh, Promotions is calling me on the other line. I think they need the Hummer back. Mm-hmm. Oh. And I know well, you can hear this. That. I'm bringing the Hummer back now. No, you're not bringing the Hummer back now. Uh-oh. Well, what could be more important? What, what supersedes what you, you at the super seat? At the billboard. What, you got to do mail? I don't know, John John. Oh, John John said oh, that. Oh, John John. How about John John does the mail this morning? Oh, that John John, you want to mail? This man who wears many hats. Absolutely. I can store mail better than God, uh, the Vinny the Pooh can. Oh, jeez, that's horrible. Don't we get the vehicles through the show? You know, for some odd reason, I think he may be right. <laughs> Let, let's have oh, him like, actually answer phones this morning, mm. too. That's pretty bad, dude. He's pretty drunk. Uh-huh. Not really. Oh, my God. Clear okay. Channel uh, Seattle. Okay, man, you're spitting on my phone. Oh, hold on. You're taking a picture of the billboard. Go get her. Go get her, John John. Who's taking a picture of the billboard? Some lady. Some lady's taking a picture of the billboard? <laughs> John John's running after her? Yeah, yeah, John John took off after Terry, I'm glad people are having this kind of reaction already. Oh, Dice her legs! Whoa. <laughs> Women out there taking pictures of the billboard? Mm -hmm. wow. What do you think of that billboard right now? I think it speaks the truth. It speaks the truth about what? <laughs> that we got asked. 
Yeah, you know, we got it. That's it. Yeah, that's that's a ref right now. We're speaking for Strife, not for Seahawks, right? I bet, I bet she's regretting her timing of taking a picture oh, right I now. Know. <laughs> oh, my gosh. For this, and then we got screwed. And everybody says, oh, next year, next year. We shouldn't say next year. We did it this year. Yes, man, I couldn't. Say next this year lady is years. so right on. Everybody that tells us Amen. to go over it, I'm glad he's not <laughs> Oh, jeez. Well, nice talking you to you. What's your name? Vicky. All right, Vicky. Thanks for stopping by and seeing the billboard. And guess what? Unfortunately, we... Yeah, thank you. I'll talk to you, man. Thank you. Unfortunately, we didn't make it. But we'll see you in Miami next year, baby. Because we will be there. With Seattle's number one hit music station. <laughs> stop. <laughs> stop. Stop. He won't stop. He won't stop. Oh, the All right, so the early returns from outside the Billboard Terry are certainly interesting. And that's all I ask. That they be interesting. People are walking yeah. by, so I'm taking pictures. The the buzz is, uh, well, it's just been up for a number of hours. Okay. I have it scheduled, this billboard, to be up for two weeks, Terry, and then that's, mm. that's more than enough, I believe. But if uh, people feel strongly that I should put one up in Pittsburgh, I'll buy one out there, too. And Pittsburgh, the, re and the reaction will be pretty severe because oh, you know how seriously sure. they take their Steelers. But the, the message on the billboard is clear, and it needs to be said, and it's the truth. Now, I can't tell you what it says because it's not suitable for the air, mm -hmm. but it's there. It'll be there for two weeks. If you want to go uh, up Denny it's up there on Denny for everyone to enjoy. There you go. And uh, Vinny the Pooh and John John have done a stellar job. They have. Good from job. reporting outside that billboard early on this morning, Terry. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ah, uh, yes, sir. You can head on back and tell John. Where's John John? Uh, actually, John John and his brother went uh, to go get some more beer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they left about five minutes ago. Is that right? Where are they going for beer? Oh no, it's like a um, it's like a little store up the street, right? Uh huh. Great. They're going to get reloaded, Terry. Yeah. John I, was like, I was like, man, you, trust me, dude. You've been drinking too much this morning. Just chill. He's like, no, man, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Uh, okay. I'm going to be right back. Uh, okay. Uh, Vinny the Pooh, you did a fine job from Good outside job, the billboard. You can head on back now and uh, do the mail duties. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Duties. Yes. <laughs> okay. Mail. And uh, as I said, wouldn't you agree? Would you echo those thoughts that the early returns on the billboard are certainly interesting? Like reactions on the street so far. Completely positive. Oh, wow. Well, I don't... Right yes, I'm expecting. I'm anticipating. I'm hoping, Terry, that people give me this. Oh, team, get the hell over it already. Mm -hmm. Never! <laughs> and this is my statement to make yeah. that clear. Never! Right. That's why I put the billboard up a week late <laughs> to show you it will never die. Mm. The feelings of being screwed. I don't, I don't like being cheated. We were cheated, Terry. I understand that. Maybe some people can just get over that so quickly. Not... Uh, me. Wow. Not a who, Vinny? Uh, no. Uh, me. No, no, no. Uh, uh, no. Well, not I mean, you either. No. Okay. <laughs> mm hmm. Oh, maybe not. I was supposed to say, not a uh, you. Uh, not a uh, you. Wow. <laughs> well done, Vinny. Thank you. Now, do you want to wait for the beer or just want to head back without John John? I don't know. It depends what kind of beer they get. I, I oh, say geez. you just head back and leave them clueless as to what's going on. But, uh, John John, if you're listening. Woo! Oh, jeez. People script. What's good? Was that you? No, someone's yelling at me from the street, so I'm, you know. Oh, that sounded like. I'll learn back. Yeah, I'm not learning back. It sounded like you. No, somebody was like, uh, yell back. Like, okay. Yeah, so he did yell back. Yeah, he did. So holla back. More yeah, of the reaction. Back. He oh. ain't no holla back, girl. Yeah, he ain't no yes. holla back. I thought you ain't no holla back. Yeah. Anyhow. It's bananas. Why don't you <laughs> come on back now, Vinny, and don't feel like you need to wait for John John to tell him what's going on, okay? Just head on back when you when you get uh, done with the call here, and uh, guess what? We're done. Okay, bye. <laughs> so there it is, Terry. Uh-huh. And uh, as I said, you got two weeks to head up to any way and see yeah. what needs to be seen. Oh, and it needs to be seen. Needs to be seen, Terry. It does. Put it right over Heinz Field. <laughs> Hang it right over that fraudulent stadium. <laughs> hmm. I don't know if I feel better yet, Terry. Okay. I thought this would uh, give me a moment where I actually feel some sense of uh, a bit of relief after putting this billboard up after the couple of days planning that I, I put into it, Terry. I feel no relief. Whoa. All right, let me go tinkle first. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Explain to me what's uh, going on up at Northgate Mall today, because I'm getting uh, word there are people on the on the phone lines 
waiting to talk about whether or not they're really going to be able to kiss Seahawks today. I don't understand any of it. I'm not involved in any of it, and I don't understand what they're doing today. Well, for Valentine's Day, they are giving love to the Seahawks, and they are having pretty much a little Seahawk kiss-off where... The Seahawks are actually going to show up for this. Well, I'm I'm not exactly sure what the whole thing is. I just know that they're having a a kiss-off, and I, I believe they're actually cutouts of the Seahawks. Like yeah. cardboard cutouts. Cut out, I don't think yeah. it's really the same. Yeah, it's not like the actual, I don't Well, do think, people know this? Know. Do people know they're going to be I, kissing cardboard cutouts? I don't know. Well, what do we know? Because actually, that's pretty funny. If people, the <laughs> person who kisses the cutout the yes. longest uh-huh. wins, and what's the prize? The prize is a pair of uh, earrings with the, of, of diamond earrings, total weight, uh, two carats. Actually, this wow, isn't saying much, good. but this is probably one of the funniest ideas Eric Powers ever mm-hmm. came up with. Not that it's like a double over laughing kind of moment, right. but that's, double that's, over. that's actually kind of cute. Everyone, right. So people in the mall mm-hmm. are going to be sitting there and kissing cardboard cutouts right. of the Seahawks. Now, here's the problem. Ha- have they had one of those moments again where they're convincing people the Seahawks are actually going to be there, and then when they show up, they realize it's cardboard cutouts? Because that's just, uh, it's funny enough to just tell people they're going to be kissing cardboard cutouts. It's a funny idea. But to get people all mad, thinking the Seahawks are going to be there, and then have them show up and find out that it's cardboard cutout just ruins the whole idea. The, the idea alone is good. Right. Stands on its but own, don't right? don't most people recognize they're not going to be able to kiss Sean Alexander for six hours? People right? believe anything. Yeah, yeah people true. do believe anything. Well, and then, and people and think and the I, Seahawks the are the yeah. season's over. they got yeah. nothing to do. With right. Gonna, what are we going to do today? They're going to show up at the mall and kiss uh, Betty Lou from uh, Linwood for six hours. <laughs> so. Wow. so, But, but my point is... Mm-hmm. Why do they continually have to lie to the listeners and dupe them into thinking something and then make it like an April Fool's moment? And I mean, maybe they're not even doing that. Maybe they did tell people it's cardboard cutouts. But, uh, yeah, I but don't know knowing, people... knowing Flowers and his track record, yeah, he's probably convincing him, hey, Matt Hasselbeck, Sean Alexander, uh, Steve Hutchinson, they're all going to be up at Northgate Mall and you can, whoever kisses them longer. And then the, the reality is, oh, well, we didn't tell you it's a cardboard cutout of right. them. Yeah. <laughs> See, the idea alone, mm-hmm. just telling people the truth, it's funny, and right. people would show up for that to win a prize. All we want is the truth. The fact that it's live at the Golden You Banana. can't handle just, the truth. Just give them the truth. <laughs> All we want. And I may be just completely wasting my breath, as I said, because maybe they, t- they did exactly tell people the precise way it is. But I'm not convinced that that's what's happening, <laughs> no. because, right. because people are calling in wondering if they're really going to be able to kiss Seahawks today. Right. Well, I, I don't know exactly if they did tell them or not. Mm-hmm. I just know that, that, that it is going to be cardboard, or I think, or... Mm-hmm. Well, uh, have we confirmed that? Is yes. It, is it, well, you said you think. Has that? Well, does anyone know? Casey, it's gonna be just, I know it's not going to be the Seahawks. They're not showing up at Northgate Ball, all those guys, and kissing uh, listeners for eight straight hours. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. obviously, it's going to be a cardboard cutout. What is this? What are you hitting Confirmation, me? I believe, of what, what it is today. Mm-hmm. It's actually kissing Harris. <laughs> His mole. This is an email explanation to all our staff. I didn't read this one. Should I, am I supposed to read these things? You're supposed to, yeah, yes. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay, when, it, when it gives our prom- promotion director's name. Mm-hmm. And- oh, our promotion director, the one that uh, you went uh, hand-to-hand combat with over the past week, Terry? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe you should email her back, Terry. <laughs> I know you do very well with your emails. Oh, I do, <laughs> yes. obviously. Maybe you should email her back and call her an Asian bitch. <laughs> she would come right back at me. Oh, jeez. Well, really it takes Asian. one to no one. Yeah. <laughs> Be an Asian bitch fight. Mm. And what's the prize again? Did you say what the prize is? Uh, diamond earrings. Someone's going to win diamond earrings yes, today. From Millennium. So in, Millennia, Millennia, in yeah. that alone, quite the festival of, of Valentine's Day joy. Yeah, absolutely. Everyone show up at the Northgate Mall. What a spectacle it'll be. People who are fortunate enough to be a part of this contest, uh-huh. whoever kisses the Seahawk cardboard cutout the, the longest, longest. Yes. is going to win diamond earrings. Is that right. what you said, diamond yeah, earrings? Yeah, and I think they're a carat, or two carat total weight. So It's pretty nice. Yeah, they're, they're yeah. nice. And people will show up just to watch these people kissing cardboard <laughs> cutouts for six hours. Yeah. You can't, and then some, you can't yeah. unlock the lips from the cardboard cutout. See, that's, right. a, that's a good idea. Yeah. But they have to ruin it. I'm assuming. They have to ruin <laughs> it by telling people the Seahawks are going to be there. So there you go. It's funny enough uh, alone. Mm-hmm. So are they cutting holes in their mouths so you can like, I, tongue I kiss them and stuff? Well, he's got the whole... No, it should, it should be all cardboard cutouts of the Seahawks, and then one person has to step up and lock lips for as long as they can with this guy. That would be me locking <laughs> lips with every from Filipino, Chinese, Asian, and doesn't matter wow. what comes out. Oh, I'll be there kissing lips and make your Valentine's 
Valentine's Day greater than ever. Okay, there it is. Wow. That's quite the promise. You just like pull the cardboard cut out, and there he is, pull it away. Now are they gonna get on me for ruining their their, I, stu- I don't, their stupid ruin angle of uh, telling people that it was really cardboard cutouts that they're gonna have up there? I, I don't know. I you might have to talk to them yourself. Well, then never mind. I yeah, know. Okay. <laughs> I know how to get to the bottom of this. Stars mom. Uh oh. Hi. Yes, yeah, stars it's mom. Well, I want a commercial. You can kiss any any whoever you want. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't say cardboard. It didn't say cardboard. Oh, the promo? Very typical. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't say cardboard. You have, you have a one, you want to, whoever you want to. You get, uh, me, what, with it. get me flowers on the phone. But anyway, anyway. Well, she's fired up now. Yeah, she? she is. Where's my Xbox? John's boys. <laughs> well, you can imagine she's fired up when she thought she was headed down to the mall to kiss Walter Jones for seven <laughs> hours. And she finds out she's kissing cardboard. Right. Which is just as good. <laughs> I wonder if they have all the players all cut out, mm-hmm. you know. <laughs> when that, start out with, what, 55 guys? Mm-hmm. And the one who <laughs> lasts then, the longest yeah, wins earrings. I think that's, that's as cool as it gets. That's awesome. But they have to fool people. Right. They have to lie to people. Why do they have to lie to people? I don't like lying to people like that. I know. It only makes them angry. Oh, that was funny. You got me. <laughs> the February it. Fools. February Fools. <laughs> so, Star's Mom. Yeah. See, now what you do is you leave people disappointed when uh, the reality is if you just told them the truth from the beginning, they would have gotten all fired up, they would have head down to the mall, and it would have been a great event. Actually, I heard that commercial, and I thought, wait a minute, there is some players already married, and how they can kiss them? Not already married. <laughs> but it turns you on to kiss a married player, didn't it, Star's mom? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, uh, were you planning on heading up to the mall, or are you... Are you... No, I go opposite way now. Oh, oh no. She wait a minute. Wait, you weren't going to go anyway, though, right? No. Okay, so there, that's the reality of it. She wasn't going anyway. <laughs> but she wants the price. This shouldn't stop anyone from going, but I'm not going to let them <laughs> lie to you, okay? Because I think it's stupid to lie to listeners like that, Terry. <laughs> and it ruins what would have been a good Valentine's Day promotion. Broccoli and beef. Wow. Or beef and broccoli. Whatever. broccoli. Apparently, I don't ever get it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, because I know Karen, Karen Wild and Eric Powers Karen are Wilde. going to be broadcasting all day. Well, that's good. It's a good idea. So. The whole thing is a good idea, except for their stupid lying angle. Seattle. Where is Flowers? Where is the ginger kid? Where <laughs> is the red-headed stepchild? Um, I saw him come in this morning, but I don't know where he is now. Which one? The red-headed stepchild? The ginger kid? or uh... All of the above. All of the above. Oh, I forgot they're all the same person. Mm-hmm. Is he, is he in uh, Anna's office? Can you please page... Eric Flowers, the ginger kid to the stars, to the phone immediately. And uh, I want to hear the page exactly how I just requested it. And put the phone down and pick up another phone and let me hear the page. Okay, so Thank you, you want me so to much. say Eric Flowers, the ginger kid? Uh, yes. With, with to the stars. Everyone's to the stars. Fa- uh, with Eric Powers, everyone's favorite ginger kid, please report to a phone immediately to pick up T-Man's call. Okay. Yes. That's a lot you, to remember. You're my favorite front <laughs> desk worker, by the way, yes, of all time. So well, of all time. Yes. Wow. Yeah. wow. Time? Now, what's your name again? <laughs> Even though she doesn't give you a sugar packet? What's, what's your <laughs> name again? Hot chocolate. Stephanie. Stephanie, that's right. Stephanie, I want to hear this page as only you can do. Okay. Well, okay. I promise. All Hold right. On. Yeah. She always lives up to her promises, Terry. <laughs> Just wish I knew her name. <laughs> it's happened all the time. Someone's out of paper. No, oh, damn it. Mm-hmm. Eric Flowers, the ginger kid to the stars. Do you have a call holding? Eric Flowers, do you have a call? <laughs> <laughs> That's well done. You love yeah, that, don't you? That's why she's the greatest front she desk worker awesome. ever. Yeah. What former front desk worker? Through Hold all on. The, do that. Through all the years of front desk workers, what former front desk worker would have done that for us? None. None, because they would have been scared. Right. But she knows who to be scared of around <laughs> here. That's right. Yeah. That's why she is going to have a job for the rest of her life or as long as she wants it. I got him on the line. Can I just patch him through? To, oh, wait, can great. I patch him that's through great. to you guys? Patch- Should I patch you to him? Either way. Okay, I'll you patch know, you to him. Patching is a two-way street. I don't know which way is better. <laughs> You're a great start patcher, patching. Hold on. The mm-hmm. only patch the last girl did was a nicotine patch. That's right. <laughs> okay, hold on. Yes, thank you, Stephanie. I'll remember your name now, at least for the next five hours. Have you read any of her emails? They're great. Hello? Hey, not, Flowers. Not the birth control patch. Yeah. Can I ask you a very simple question? Can I ask you guys a question? Uh, yes. You gonna ruin every moment? You ruined it! You ruined it! You ruined everything you touched! We told all contestants what they were doing when they got down there. 
So before we we went on here, you're not going to make out with a Seahawks player. Every, use common sense. Anybody would know that, dude. The, the listeners Anybody believe know. anything you tell Donald them, Donald unfortunately. Look at Star's mom. Yeah. Star's mom thought she was wondering why married football players were willing to go down there and kiss <laughs> listeners. I'm sorry, you can't use common sense. Well, wow. Obviously, you told the listeners. Uh, you no, you omitted that information because you knew they would buy into it. And I think oh, I think the promotion, the Valentine's Day promotion, is great. It I think is great. no, oh, it's it's is. not because you have to throw in the little angle of lying to the listeners. We're not lying to the listeners. You're absolutely you lying up, to the listeners. Sign up, you are told. Sign up. When you are, you're told when you qualify and you go down there. You know what you're getting into. You're told on the phone. Ask any one of those people. Okay. Tomorrow now. So then why? I sell it as if the uh, Seahawks are going to be there when it's really cardboard cutouts. And watching someone kiss a cardboard cutout to me is funnier. Watching that for six hours than them actually kissing the Seahawks. Well, good. You're going to see that when you so go that, So then why do you You're have to lie through. to them? What do you think well, is I'm so funny lying about lying to the listeners? We're having fun with it. Every, if you use common sense, you know Sean Alexander, Matt Hasselback. None of these guys are going to be down there making out with you for seven, eight hours. Common sense would have to play a part in it. So then this. why do you present it as such then? If that's it's, tongue, it's tongue in cheek. We're having fun. Tongue, oh, let me tell you, tongue and cheek has never been so spectacular. Kicks and giggles. You know, mm-hmm. Everybody's got an opinion. So why are you? I didn't see you in the brainstorming. Why are you? Why, why are you then so upset that I that I foiled your great surprise? after I'm railed on the air. I ruined your moment. Of, oh, they got us. It's not really the Seahawks. It's cardboard cutouts. Oh, 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 all that does is piss oh, people off. That's great. I'm not. I'm not mad. I'm not saying you're mad. I'm saying they could be mad. I'm glad I finally uh, told them the truth. Well, I, I'm not mad that you told them the truth. I just that's not the part I'm mad about. What are you mad about? I'm mad that you're you're trying to derail the promotion. I'm not that's trying bad. to derail the promotion. I said the promotion is great. It's funny. It's something to watch and behold, and everyone no, will get a part. nice. Not that part. But the but you have to overstep what's necessary. You have to go beyond what's. What's called for by thinking it's extra funny to lie to the listeners? I'm not lying to the listeners. You've always done that. We're it's not, stupid. No, no, Stop we're not doing it. To the Stop we're doing it. Qualified. If you qualified, you would know. You didn't qualify. You don't know. You didn't want to make out with anybody. Right, stop trying to be such the wacky program director all the time. It's not about wacky. It's and, a good promotion. And just believe in the promotion itself and not feel like you have I to overdress it up. All right? I do believe in it. Obviously, you don't, or you wouldn't have to sell it, having people believe they're actually going to be I, Seahawks I don't there. I really want a promo that says we're making out with cardboard cutouts. So I Why? I think different. that's funny. Well, that, that may be funny to you. It wasn't to me. I think that's hysterical. So yeah. Well, so instead, that's your see that. So that, now he's admitting it. So instead, he has to lie to people to tell them the Seahawks are actually in it. You're lying. No, no, You're a liar. No, no, no. You're a ginger kid we liar. We told them when they qualify. Well, our pants on fire, Crunch. I want <laughs> you. I'd love to see his funny meter, though. I want you to apologize to all the listeners that you've lied to. Not just, not just, not just this time. Too. Not just oh, this man. time, but over the years. For over the years? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Promotion. Go ahead. Name another one. Another promotion? How about yeah. the Golden Banana? How about... Uh, an April Fool's joke. Mm-hmm. So now you're t- okay, so now we should have fun during April Fool's. Got it. What else is he lied about? Dropping turkeys from, from uh, helicopters. Way, was- way back, going back 10 years, this has been going on. It's stupid. He needs so- to stop. He said something was hot. It really wasn't hot. You say things are hot. You say Harris's mole is beautiful. <laughs> Why lie? Oh, that was hot. Actually. Come on, this is all just mole and The turkey sauce was, was good. The turkey sauce was good. <laughs> <laughs> But turkey feels pretty good. All right, listen. You're bringing back good memories. I'm see. <laughs> I'm actually fond of those memories. I have pictures. I'm more apt to show up at a mall watching people kiss cardboard cutouts for six hours. Really now, do you guys, now, do you guys it, have okay. 55 cardboard cutouts to represent the entire Seahawks? No, we have, we, have Seahawks. Part of the team. we have part of the team. They have, part of, they have the stars. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, time yeah, to do like one cutout. Yeah, one cutout. <laughs> but, but Terry, Terry actually has the information. Right? But don't you dare accuse me of ruining your silly promotion when you're the one who ruined it yourself. I'm trying to sabotage I didn't do anything. Why? By telling the truth? It's no. so bad to tell the truth. But you're not... You're what should I tell people? You have brown hair? You're not, you're not telling <laughs> you're not absolute it. honesty about it. The truth is we told the people to qualify. So tell the truth and then I'll be fine. How did they qualify? You text the word WISH to oh, 97373. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. You, if you do that, you'd get the information. Obviously, you didn't, uh-huh. so you didn't know. So it was like a secret code. Try, mm. try showing up to the meeting. It's 10 o'clock. Wow. 
Wow. I am not only your voice of reason, but I am your truth, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. If, I, if I wasn't sitting here for the past number of years, Eric Flowers would convince convince you that he has black pubes. He does not. Oh. And uh, I will never allow these lies to continue. Well, it's not a lie, but that's your story. So. It's, uh, it's going to be a fun <laughs> It's your story. Your story, you convince yourself. That's cute, but it's not the truth. It's going to be a fun day at the mall, walking yes. by and watching people kissing cardboard cutouts. Well, not anymore, because you'd be wrong. No, that's all you needed right. to do. The, the, the idea is terrific. I think it's one of the more uh, interesting Valentine's Day promotions I've heard of. There's I'm glad you guys. But you had to go, you. You had to go and season. ruin it. You had to go I and ruin it. It. So, it's still happening the way it was told. Well, now, if it's a horrible failure, you can blame yourself. No, uh, blame uh, how you. many qualifiers did you Of course you you'll blame me. You'll blame me. Yeah, I sabotage it. I sabotage it by telling the truth, Terry. No, it's not about the truth. The truth, we told the qualifiers. And well, whatever, then. Fine. It's, it's, it's a great prize. You're going to get people there anyway. It's right, a, right. It's, yeah, will. it's a great I mean, prize. What is it? Two carrots, right? The earrings? It's He's probably yeah. just going to hand them out. One dollar donation. Here you go. <laughs> One dollar. How about zero? Have a great time at the mall. Uh, I th oh, just <laughs> wow! Wow! What is he gay now? Whoa! Gay phone operator. Whoa. 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 Oh, hey, that's your boss, Stephen. <laughs> I think there should be a cardboard cut out of Eric Flowers. Yeah. And a big mole standing at his side. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and, pretty much will be. Yes. Uh, and whoever can kiss that the longest and wins. It, and whoever can tell the difference between that and the real thing <laughs> wins the earrings. The team. <laughs> I was so distracted. I was so uh, sent off course yes. with the whole flowers thing. Right. That I didn't even address any text pages so far oh. this morning. Oh, wow. That's so right. we have tons of pages up. Let me get to as many as I can, as we say in the trade, Terry. <laughs> well, why does that make you laugh, Stephen? Well, it's, I think anybody would say that. That's right. right. Mm -hmm. And the fact that we're in the trade. That's right. <laughs> it's very He's scary. Laughing. Both funny. <laughs> 925 and 49 seconds. Somebody writes, how about you get a cardboard cut out of Eric Flowers so people can walk up in the mall and pee on it. Signed, <laughs> Willie Green. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Sweet deal. 923 and 33 seconds. Hi, I just wanted to say that nobody, T-Man, will get over the fact that we were cheated in the Super Bowl. Mm. Thanks for sticking with it. Mm. At 921 and 42 seconds, Adam writes, colon, Terry's wizard sleeve oh. is chewy like calamari. Okay. That's oh, <laughs> God. God. That just is a description that works. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's why that works. I get it. The fact that there was a colon before it, yeah. too. Yeah. Well, he, he wrote Adam Wright's. Yeah, colon. Right. Get it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 921 and 32 seconds. Valentine Day, Valentine's Day sucks. I'm going to sign a su oh, suicide. Okay, well. Whoa! <laughs> uh, 921 and 18 seconds. A ginger bitch liar does make it seem like the Hawks will be there. Signed, Luke. See, Terry, people... We're going to show up with their autograph books, drive for like a half hour, sure. 45 minutes up to... I did them a favor. They're going to drive up there after 45 minutes with their autograph book and their cameras mm -hmm. and then be like, you lying piece of... Get all pissed. He's going he's to get punched in the face <laughs> one of these days. <laughs> Man. What? The, pro the promotion is funny. It is? Why do you have to lie to people? Just piss them off. And I probably now ruin their whole day's broadcast because they would have went all day being like, oh, look how long she's kissing Sean Alexander. Oh, I can't believe he's so into it like this. And that would have been everything they were doing. And I don't see why. Why lie? Why? I, I can't answer that question for you there. Believe in yourself enough and your ideas that they stand alone. You don't have to lie to people. Oh, really? Well, again. I love the idea. It's funny. Well, you should have been at the brainstorming meeting, so you could have that's voiced why your that's opinion. That's why they don't even tell me about the brainstorming meetings, because they know I'm going to tell the truth. So by brainstorming meetings, does he mean cutting out pictures of magazines that are young, hip, and sexy and putting them in a collage? Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what he means? Mm. That's what happened the one time you went to a meeting. Mm. <laughs> Talked about being scarred. Mm. <laughs> or Complete the absolute waste of my time. <laughs> or the montage. Oh, 919 and 14 seconds, you guys should have a kiss your favorite cube member. For the earrings, T-Man, I reserve you. Oh, and that's oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Signed, Juan. <laughs> At 9 08 and 21 seconds, somebody writes, are the seagulls going to be there? I got some cardboard cut. Yeah, who knows? I, I, yeah, they'll be cheering on the sidelines. Believe it or not, I, Lincoln could be there, <laughs> the way they do these promotions. <laughs> Wow. 86 and 20 seconds. Steve, I put one up in Pittsburgh. I'd even put some money in for it. Well, you know what? It's not about the money. Uh, if if the billboard is 
going to be such the attraction, Terry, that people are showing up from around the world. Mm -hmm. I may have to put them around the world. There you go. Let the message be known loud and clear and never die. Never die. The message could never die. That's right. We were screwed. We would have won if not for the officials and their bogus calls and O oh, story. Can't wait to see the one in Zimbabwe. <laughs> oh, they're really going to get fired up over there. 8.55 <laughs> and four seconds. Valentine's Day makes me want to kill... Oh, jeez. Jeez. It's the same guy? Let me see something here. It's better be the same guy. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It's no, a guy actually, or a woman? I'm actually root well, I don't know if it's a guy or a woman, but I'm actually rooting for it to be the same person. It, no. Yeah. Sure isn't. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Should I read this one? You want me to hear, you want to hear this one? Yeah. Maybe we need to call both those people back. Let hook them up. And, 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 yeah, hook them if up. If one's a man and one's a woman. Wow. Valentine's Day makes me want to kill myself slowly and painfully, says this one. Okay, call that one back and then call the other one you back and then let's make a match made in heaven. It's not that big a deal. Right. All right. There's a movie called My Bloody Valentine where oh, it sends live hearts to people. Mm -hmm. Oh, I saw Pretty scary. I, Fun for the whole family? Oh, yeah, it's great. Yeah. Any Seahawks in that one? Uh, yeah, cardboard cutout. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's actually not a live heart. It's a cardboard cutout of a live heart. 853 in 59 seconds. How can we see the billboard, T-Man? Put a link on it, or could you please just say it on the air and bleep it out? Well, I can't do either one. Right. Got to drive by all by yourself. Leave in the billboard? You got to go see it for yourself. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's right up there on Denny Way. They're very accessible, last I checked, from a four-block radius. Yeah. And a lot of people have... Already driven by, from what I understand, Terry. And a fifty and fifty six seconds save a Seahawk kill a zebra. Okay, that's yeah. Mm hmm. Also, not where we need to go. <laughs> e pasty. I hope you've lysoled your phone a hundred times. So uh -huh. yeah, no yeah, joke. John John reference there. E. 846 and 44 seconds. My whole company has been to the billboard, and we plan to go back if you're really having that party, and we'll be naked. Sign Rose. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Sounds like Rose wants to get naked. Yes. Show us the rosy cheeks. Oh, no, it is. Oh, wow. God. Looks a little perverted these days. Mm -hmm. 846 and 41 seconds. T-Man, can you have any of the pooped? Take a picture <laughs> of the billboard so we can all see it who... Uh. Because I live in the South End. All right. Well, you know what? You live in the South End. You still have two weeks to come up to Denny Way. <laughs> That's right. You know what I'm saying? I do. Okay, I good. do, too. Just, just when I thought Hot Carl Scott was the gayest name. Vinny the Poop's right up there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Vinny the Poop. Like? Vinny the Pooped. Oh, it's the oh, teeth. Pooped. Yes, oh, pooped. pooped. Oh, I see. Oh, what, do you, what do you think it said? Poop. No, Vinny the Pooped. So he's already done it. That's right. Okay. It's past tense. He's tired. His business. <laughs> he's, he's is that what happens to you after a nice oh, movie? Oh, I'm exhausted. Oh, I see. That's what it means. Mm -hmm. Tired. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm pooped. I get it. It's just a lot of work. Brow sweating. <laughs> here's, a, here's another one. 846 and 40 seconds from Gene. T-Man, take a picture of the billboard so I can see it on MySpace or somewhere where I can view it online. No. 8.46 and 39 seconds. I'm driving around right now. Where is the billboard? Well, how hard is it to find a billboard? Not that hard. It's driving in Linwood, probably. Yeah, I know. Is there, no. a de is there a Denny Way in Linwood? No. Is there any it's other Denny's, Denny Ways probably. that you know about? Yeah, I'm sure yeah, there are somewhere. Uh, All right, well, it's Denny Way downtown. Seattle. And it's, uh, it's driving east. From what I understand, Terry. Mm -hmm. Okay. As you drive east. Oh, it's going up. toward Capitol Hill. That's right. As you're driving, as you're headed towards Capitol Hill. Oh, oh yeah. Rima, you're coming, coming my back. My chiffon from scarf and fanny pack already <laughs> on. Where do I look? Yeah. But you don't, you know. Glory holes yeah. next right. Oh, geez. You don't get nearly that high. <laughs> All you got to do is drive to the 13 Coins restaurant. Right, and there it is. Where the Seattle Times building is. So, like, right before the freeway. And there it is. Right, yes, right. right by the entrance to I-5, actually. Yes, very oh. correct, Stephen. Very correct. Approaching the big five ski. Mm-hmm. 846 and 38 seconds. t you have no clue how many pig people are out here taking pictures of the billboard right now. LOL. It's great. Sent it to ESPN. We're hoping that if everyone in my office yeah. sends it to ESPN, they'll publish it nationally. Well, hey. Uh, Hello. LOL, ESPN, ESPN OMG. Oh, 846 and 37 seconds. Happy Valentine's Day. I love you. That's more the spirit. Aww. Is that Juan as well? Mm -hmm. It's not Juan. It's not Juan. It's Juan. I don't think my throat works that way. 846 and 37 seconds. T-Man, I'm almost dying to go to Vegas with you guys. Can you help me get there? Well, what are you offering? Okay, if you're almost dying, wait till you're dead. Eight. Then we'll take you. 
843 at 16 seconds. Did you notice Gretzky's gambling mob in, was based in Pittsburgh, T-Man? Is there a connection? Is this too much of a coincidence? Uh-huh. By the way, did you hear how much Gretzky himself bets in Vegas? Like $2 million, they say. Up to $2 million he's lost, I believe. In Vegas? Yes. Sits right next to Pete Rose? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Hey, and and Black Jackie, up nickel slots these days. Yeah, and Black Jackie, he puts out $25,000 a hand. Wayne Betsky? Yes. 841 and 42 seconds. Would you please put a picture of the billboard on the website? No, can't do it. That kind of defeats the purpose of a billboard, people. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, Olive Garden doesn't put their billboards on the website. Oh, jeez. God, relax. <laughs> Always can count on a good food reference from Kilbrook. Jeez. <laughs> 8.16 and 14 seconds, send me a picture of the billboard. 8.16 and 2 seconds, thank you, T-Man. This billboard was so needed. Do you realize why I stretch out the word so, Terry? Because they, they stretch out the word so uh, with somebody else. I gotta tell the truth. Oh, Get live. No, you can't. Flat. Oh, jeez. T-Man put a sign up in Tacoma. <laughs> oh my because goodness. we all know down here that the Seahawks are Super Bowl champs. You know why I say Super Bowl, Terry? Because that's how they wrote it. Well, tell me how they wrote it. Uh, I... S-U-P-A. That's right. Uh, Just like Super Sam. Mm-hmm. He ain't no Super Sam. And he's a champ. Uh, 809, 57 seconds. I want to hear Vinny's sexy, vo- uh, sexy voice on the show. He sounds so cute and looks so cute. Let him talk. Let him talk. Okay, boss. Hang, hang, hang on just a second. <laughs> Is that your new position? Well, that was my gay alter ego. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. All this capital will talk. <laughs> 703 in 10 seconds. Team in, remember those vows and what they mean. Wow. Who's, who's out there to suggest that I'm not remembering my vows? Back off. Huh? Call that damn person. Unless it's you. You told me you never tell. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> it's 646 in 28 seconds. Where's the billboard at? People can't find it? Mm-hmm. Uh, 636 and 52 seconds. Team and you are right about one damn thing, that's for sure. The, the fearless forecaster is never wrong. Mm. I'm All glad right. he sees it. Yeah. I'm glad he sees it. There's a little smattering, a little uh, sample size, Terry. Little taste. All angles of the program were ad- uh, addressed from the calamari to the, uh, oh, oh, man. To the billboard. And uh, we take text pages all day long, uh, don't you know, at uh, 97373, uh, don't you know, at uh, 97373, I uh, don't, uh, you, K-N-O-W. The team.